Hello and welcome to this live stream battle report where today we're going to be showing off the brand new Dark Angels Codex. I'm joined by Mike. How are you doing, mate? I am great. We're playing the Nids versus the Inner Circle. Mm -hmm. So this is the much anticipated Deathwing detachment for the Dark Angels. How are you feeling about your Deathwing army? To be honest, I'm, I'm actually excited to use it. Um, used it a few times now. We've been pouring over it, looking at all the different combos we can get with it. And there's a few tricks with it, actually, which I'm actually excited to see if they work. Yeah, very good. We've been actually working on the masterclass for the Dark Angels. Um, so yes, there's been a lot of negative press around it. And look, you've seen our Codex review. We're not the biggest fans. We're not shouting its praises. However, if you do want to do Dark Angels, then look out for the Masterclass. You can always sub to the Masterclass subscription ahead of time and access all the rest of the great content as well. Um, but there's a lot of cool tricks in here and we've actually added some of those ideas from the Masterclass mm. into this list. Yeah. It wouldn't be a stream though, Jordan, without our beautiful stream deck. The actual deck or the people behind the deck? Well, and there's the people as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, cool, yeah. So we've got Orange and Slum in it, Chris. Thank Good you, evening, everybody. How are we? Yeah, all good. We'll pass over all to. I've, I'm joined on the deck tonight for the first time ever alone with who's becoming a good friend of mine, I suppose. We're spending a lot of time together. Aww. <laughs> it's Big Seb. Hi, everyone. It's me, Big Seb. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Oh, Hi, I'm Big Seb. <laughs> oh, I promise he's not hurting me. <laughs> I thought I'd just contradict your, your Big Seb. <laughs> he's been doing that a lot this evening. He's cruising for a bruising. <laughs> um. Right, so the mission today. Mm. The mission today is Scorched Earth. Okay, so at the end of each of our command phases, we're going to get five victory points for each objective we hold to a maximum of 10. Mm -hmm. And then we can, at the end of the game, score objectives for burning objectives. Yes. Uh, score points for burning objectives. So we get five if we burn any number of No Man's Land ones, 10 if we burn our opponent's one. And in order to burn an objective, we have to be within range of it and controlling it mm. in our shooting phase. We start burning it and then provided we're still in range of it and in control of it, by the time our next command phase rolls around, then that object is removed from the board and we'll get some end game points. We're playing on the no, uh, Dawn of War deployment zone. Yeah, it's the long uh, edges. And it's just chilling rain. We're just here to, always we're here to chill. Battlefields. It's a chill game, right? No. No? Okay. It's going to be sweaty. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Um, <laughs> so, without further ado, lists. Yeah. Tell us a story. Tell us a secret. Go on, Jordan. No more secrets, mate. It's out. So, my list today, we've got the Chapter Master himself leading the Dark Angels. He's going to be going with 10 Hellblasters, conveying that dark, oh, the Deathwing keywords. Um, so, and then we've also got five Infiltrators. We've got a Land Raider Redeemer. And inside the Land Raider Redeemer is Ezekiel and six blade guards. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, then we've got two units of five Deathwing Terminators. One of them will be led by a Terminator Librarian. We've got Belial, the commander of the Deathwing himself as well. He's actually Lone Ranger in it. He's on his own, he's in Deep Strike. Um, we've also got five Deathwing Knights actually. Okay. Five Deathwing Knights with a captain and he's got the enhancement Deathwing Assault, which means I'm gonna be able to Deep Strike on turn one. That's cool. Which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, we've got three plasma inceptors. And I think that's everything. Five inf infiltrators? So, yep, said that. We've got the five infiltrators. And cool. that's everything for the Dark Angels. Very nice. Well, you've yeah. seconded a fair few Death Watch uh, guys. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we don't have every army in the entire game. So I'm sure you guys don't mind. The death there's aliens here. So the Death Watch are there's, getting involved. There's some Dark Angels in the squad. That's true. There's two Dark Angels and the sergeants are Dark Very Angels. Very true. Um, so you're running the Inner Circle Task Force, right? Inner Circle Task Force. Yep. So this is the Deathwing Detachment. So with the Inner Circle Task Force, I'll just run over the actual detachment rule um, so people at home know what I'm going to be doing. So we've got Vowed Target. So basically, I get to pick an objective and that becomes my Vowed Target for, the, um, for that battle round. And anything with any Deathwing Infantry will get plus one to wound against enemies on that objective marker. And also there's some synergies with the stratagems and stuff when we get to use them really. Okay, um, and so Azrael being in Hellblasters means that that whole unit gets the plus one to wound as well. Yeah, because they are now Deathwing. They've got the Deathwing yeah. keyword. Yeah, it's a Deathwing infantry unit. Yes, exactly. Okay. So even though the Land Raider has Deathwing, it's not gonna get a plus one to wound on the objective because it's not infantry. 
Okay, cool, cool, um, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, and just to reiterate, you've got Belial, a unit of five Terminators with a Librarian. Yep. And um, the Deathwing Knights with a Captain in Reserve. Yes, uh, and three Plasma Receptors in Reserve. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Um, so, you're facing the Tyranids. Yeah. I've got the Synaptic Nexus. Mm -hmm. uh, leading up the force is, of course, none other than the Swarm Lord himself. Yeah. I've then also got a Turvagon, and I've got uh, an Enhancement to Reduce Damage. Just double checking that. Yep, minus one damage. Uh, I've then got a neuro tyrant with a fancy power of the high mind, hive mind, high mind, <laughs> power of the hive mind, unlimited power, <laughs> unlimited. Uh, okay. So it's flamer, psychic flamer is just better, basically, uh, yeah. with extra damage and stuff. Uh, we've got a parasite of Mortrex. Yep. Then we've got a neurolictor, twenty termagants, six melee warriors, a malaceptor, an exocrine a Norn Emissary, and two units of 10 Gargoyles, and finally, two units of three Zoanthropes. Mm. There's two, the two Zoanthrope units and one unit of Gargoyles are starting the game in reserve. Okay. Um, now, Synaptic Nexus, basically, at the start of the battle round, I get to pick uh, one of several abilities, and provided I'm in Synapse range, I get that ability on those units. Nice. Okay. It looks like you're playing Crusher Stampede, to be honest, mate. There's a lot of... Um... Big monsters on the board. Oh, there's not that many. No. It's okay. You'll yeah. be all right. You've got plus one to wound somehow, somewhere. Uh, on a one objective. <laughs> uh, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Now nah, I've got this. I've got this in the bag. Yeah. Okay, cool. How are chat feeling about this one? Um, have we got any positive stuff to say about <laughs> the Dark Angels? <laughs> well, nobody's gone in negative just yet, apart from a little bit of James Hobb. He's been feeling a bit, <laughs> you know, sad about the Dark Angels, I this future little baby. He has yeah. very kindly given us the... Uh, 199 sticker, finger up thing. I can't remember what we call that these the days. Chat. Little... No, no, the actual <laughs> finger, the <laughs> finger itself. Foam finger? Foam finger, finger <laughs> gesticulating oh, okay. finger. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm doing <laughs> actions behind the camera and no one can see me. Um, <laughs> but he's done that. Uh, everyone is giving the little giggly ghost, little people painter in the corner um, a big shout out. Obviously, they want her to be zooming in on that Belial and all the other beautiful miniatures she's done that... For the first time I've seen this evening, and they look fantastic. And we've just had a Chris Williams Productions super chat for £10. Hey guys, quite unwell at the moment, but what better way to pass the recovery time than a live stream from my favourite channel? I have to ask, who is the Giggly Ghost? <laughs> well, Chris, that's a question in itself. Who is the Giggly Ghost? Uh, if you go onto Instagram and check out the Little People Painter, or just Little People Painter, Little people painter. Just little people paint them. Uh, you can see her mug on there. Uh, yeah. Just don't put it up on the internet or she may end up in prison. Hashtag <laughs> notorious LPP. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So back to the game. Uh, I've gone tactical. Yeah. I've You've gone, gone tactical. I've gone tactical too, mate. So let's roll off to see who's going first. Okay. Do you want first turn? Um, probably, yes. Yeah? Because you've got a deep striking unit coming down to turn one. In the box. Come on, man. Okay. Well, oh, you're going first. I'm going first. Um, I will not do an imperative. No? Um, so you feel free to carry on with your stuff. Okay, so Dark Angels turn one. I've got a few things before we go into the movement phase. Obviously, I have my oath and my vow objective. Mm -hmm. So... Just top down, I'm going to use this one as my vow marker, and this one will be my oath marker, just so everyone at home knows exactly what they are for. Okay? Okay. Um, so, basically... Would you like to draw your cards first? That's a good idea. And then you can make the decision whilst they chat to the good boys over on the deck. Okay, yeah, sure. Sounds good. So, what cards have you got? Extend Battle Lines and Assassination. Okay. Okay. Let's do it then. So yeah, we'll go into the movement phase. Um, We're plus two, a uh, plus one CP for me, plus two for you. Yeah, because you've got Azrael. Azrael, he gives me an extra CP. Very nice. He's such a good chapter master, isn't he? He's, he's probably the best chapter master. Okay, now you're taking it too far. <laughs> anyway, over to the deck. Movement phase, coming up next. Let's take a moment to appreciate Colourforge, our fantastic sponsor. Their range of spray paints has become our go-to for making our miniatures come to life quickly and efficiently. The quality and variety of colours they offer are truly unmatched, providing a smooth application for stunning effects every time. Check out Colourforge for your next hobby project. Alright, Dark Angels, new codex. How are you feeling about it, Chris? 
Uh, so this tonight is the first time I've had a look at it um, in detail. Jordan seems very excited about getting his little plus one to wound with his token. As you can see, he's discussing with Mike the best places to do it there. Um, there's been a lot of controversy about it. There's obviously been some sad people um, with some of the stuff that's been previewed, but it's nice to see someone being optimistic for a change. And he's got quite a lot of models compared to some other streams that have run recently with very few models. Also, you've seen a lot more than me, Seb, though. What's your thoughts? Uh... Oh, <laughs> the is good, I guess. I heard that the uh, Deathwing Knights were hit pretty hard, to be honest. Um, which is a shame because they got really nice looking models. Um, but other than that, you good? We're good. We, yeah. uh, you've heard it there, folks. We're good from the oh, Okay. No. <laughs> just uh, uh, so, I mean, ultimately, I think they couldn't have got any better from yeah. the previous edition. I think. If they had stayed the same and maybe gone up points or gone down points um, but got a little bit worse, then that would have been fine. Um, I've come across you know, the 10-man blob with all their little stats into World Eaters and whatnot before and I hated my life as you're just constantly thinking, you're going to get something through. Oh, no, minus one damage and you know all the rest <laughs> yeah. of it and bringing people back and the command squads and all sorts. I that don't know stories. loads about them, but I just don't like running into them. Yeah, fair. Chat, let us know what your thoughts are. It'll be interesting to see some discussions going on. Uh, other than that, though, how do you think you see this game going from turn one? George taking it and going for the advantage. Well, from last week, I don't think Mike could do any more Salt Bay action if he tried. So <laughs> it'd be nice to see Jordan actually win a game against Mike. They've gone from uh, Mike winning to drawing. So maybe tonight's the first night that George gets a win. That'd be nice. Be a first. Um, and I hope, I, you know, I do hope that he gets to showcase the army and what it can do better than, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. And once people start getting models on the table, it shows that the army is playable. You know, maybe they need a tweak, who knows, but they need to have them reps first, I think, before we can say they need a tweak. Yeah, true. I always see that with codex reveals and everything. People were quite quick to judge because obviously you see the stats and anything gets nerfed or anything gets changed, you're like instantly jumping on that. Um, but. It takes time for you to actually see how people use it, how it develops over time, you know, seeing how people actually want to use it and such. Um, and I think a prime example of that is the LVO winner, uh, Big Matt from yeah. Team Vanguard Tactics. Who would have thought a monolith <laughs> would win the LVO? And again, I, know, I imagine a lot of people sat and said, not a chance. That list, you know, probably looked at his list and thought, no, what's he even doing with it? And, you know, then he's just gone on and won. I mean, hopefully we can see some double sixes tonight and, you know, get all dead excited and whatnot <laughs> yeah sure um james hobbs obviously there thinking they got hit too hard um but he would feel like that because he's very gamey um what else the chat saying along there so good evening to kobe he's in the chat uh little people painter is also joined in oh yeah even though she's in the room i mean i'm in the chat but that's only so i can try and get a free membership um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat it uh i respect it respect <laughs> the honesty <laughs> um yeah great so knights got hit like custodies did they're gonna have to switch their play style pretty disappointed initially yeah i think honestly overall uh not great but we'll see like i think there are some we'll see what shines through right um exactly let people run it out let people test in and you know we don't know when it's going to drop but there's a day slate on the horizon and that will change everything once again you know the entire dynamic of the game will change and every, everything that we've we're talking about now could be completely irrelevant yeah maybe i'm curious uh, why uh belial was just hanging out on that rooftop still i just just for the camera shots i think just yeah. uh <laughs> lpp just wants to show off what she can and can't do with a paintbrush she we says it's not her idea, but she uh, she definitely forced that upon everyone. <laughs> Small enough. Oh, angry. he's gone. Oh. Oh. Hope you guys are enjoying wall. Anyway. Um, so it looks like they've done a lot of movement. You can see that George there pushed his uh, land raider out. Everything's kind of pushed into the center. The token that represents the plus one to wound on an objective marker. I can't actually see where it's placed at the moment. No. Uh, okay, so Down there we go. So it's off on that center objective. Yep, perfect. Yeah. Thank and you, Michael. And then we can see the Oath of Moment up on the Exocrine on the top. Yep, Oath of yeah. yep. So pop that bad boy because he does cause some issues when it comes to shooting. Um, only strength eight, but it's uh, given the uh, attachment, I think, some uh, bonuses for when they then shoot anything after it's a hit. So it's gone quite it's gone quite heavy into the center there. Um, there's that big blob of Marines pushing up on the center objective with some firing, big firing lines on them, really, considering there's some big monsters 
opposite him. Maybe he's a little bit confused and trying to play him like Blood Angels. Um, but those <laughs> but those knights are hiding in that ruin. Obviously, we can't quite see them properly just because of the roof of the ruin, but he's got a big blob in there, um, chilling beans. That left objective, is that right? Yeah. So there's a nice big blob in there. And they're just... Nope. He's, he's in a difficult position. I'm not sure that Archangel actually wanted the first turn. If, if he had got the second turn, then it would have meant that the monsters all had to move out and he could kind of see which angle of approach Michael wanted to go. And then from there, you know, he could counter counter attack and poise himself ready to try and kill some bugs. <laughs> yeah, well, only good bug is a dead bug. Speaking of um, new codex as well from the new model, is there anything that tickles your fancy? I really like the new upgrade kit. Although I don't do any Space Marines, I do appreciate the work LPP's done on them. Mm. Um, you know, they are very pretty. She keeps making little noises like, oh, they want something, you know, who would have thought she's paid to paint? Um, <laughs> what a surprise. Yeah. Um, there's me just throwing contrast on stuff and then she actually uses paint. Like, come on. Um, but no, they're, they're very nice models. And it's nice that they've done that with the attachment, just doing a nice upgrade sprue, which then gives hope to people in the future that do collect the, um, the other sort of chapters um, and companies and whatnot that... Hopefully the same as maybe what will happen with Chaos Space Marines and the Kill Team box with the um, Night Lords that maybe yeah, they'll just do almost like an upgrade yeah. upgrade sprues to give everyone their divergent chapters a little bit of flavour, a little bit of life that you don't have to keep kit, kit bashing old kits, new kits and spending a fortune to do so. That would be nice. They don't really do um, like upgrade kits, do they? Like just a separate box. Um, I know Necromunda, for example, you'll get like little upgrade kits every time they drop a new season or something. That would be curious. I'd be curious to see something like yeah, that. Yeah, they've got they've got like legacy Primaris ones that just mm. had a few little accessories and maybe a weapon here and there, but they were nothing special, you know, shoulder pads and stuff like that. But equally, you didn't have to spend the money on them when shoulder pads are, you know, that can just be the decal work rather than rather than that. Yeah, I mean, I'd be curious to see what uh, conversions come out of this as well. I think I saw some cool uh, uh, photoshops and talks about like converting the inner circle champions to Black Templars. That looked really cool with a little cloaky cloakiness with the cloaky cloakiness yeah all those bath the, no- the right. naughty boys damn hoodies <laughs> don't think anywhere what's that about the LVO meeting at LVO yep yeah, there's some people in chat then this evening that bumped into Steve Jake Ben and the rest of the team VT that were there, we'll see. Um, we played against them, seeing them all. It was nice to see them all hanging out. Mm. Uh, Jake has now got back as well. He's yep. safe at home, feeling very jet lagged. And Steve is in New Orleans, I do believe, for a few more days, isn't he, before he comes back? Yeah, he's in New Orleans. He'll be back uh, with us next week, which will be cool. Um, and see the kind of chaos you've been up to. It looks like they're done at the table. So let's ho- head over and see Big George's recap. Okay, so. Movement's done. We have had a bit of a discussion on whether or not it's worth deep striking over here with the Deathwing Knights. Yeah. But it probably makes more sense just to try and consolidate towards the two middle objectives here. Mm-hmm. Um, not middle, because that's not the middle. Yeah. Um, so the one here, obviously, we put the Deathwing Knights. We've had to deep strike within three, which is one of the stratagems for the Relic Orbital Teleportarium. Relic Teleportarium, yeah. Yeah, so I spent the CP to deep strike within three inches of the, um, what's he called? Neuralictor. Neuralictor, that's the yeah. guy. Um, I've made this my Val objective, just in case mm-hmm. you do want to come on to it, I'm going to start mm-hmm. getting some, maybe some re-rolls and stuff. Yeah, on I think it's worth covering the tactical discussion a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. That's what we do. Uh, so this objective I've chosen for my Norn Emissary to be OC15 on. Yeah. Um, and uh, Jordan's plan was, because he figured that's what I was going to do, was to fight the Norn on that objective with the Val. Mm-hmm. But obviously, the Norn, whilst it probably won't kill, the Deathwing Knights, they're not that likely to kill it back. No. And if it is on the objective, then it's going to be OC15. It's definitely going to have the objective. Yeah. If it's not on the objective, he doesn't get plus one to wound or any of his strats against it. Yeah. So it's kind of like a doesn't really function properly. The other thing I was debating was holding it for a turn with the Deathwing Knights and then potentially bringing in another unit the next turn, maybe burn the objective if I could. But the fact you got the Norn Emissary there and a bunch of gargoyles behind this building it's almost impossible for me to hold that objective with the units at my disposal to do that, right? Yeah. yeah um, so it just makes a lot more tactical sense to just try and consolidate all my forces here and kind of concede that side of the board yeah. to you. But you um, have deep strikes. I have plenty so, of other stuff to actually come down later yeah, on. Yeah. Um, but regarding the rest of the forces, the um, Hellblasters and Azrael have hopped out. We're looking at the Exocrine, which is the Oath target. Mm-hmm. The Deathwing Terminator's here. 
shuffled over a little bit. The one Terminator with the Cyclone missile launcher is actually looking at the Exocrine, potentially get some more shots off. Um, and the Redeemer has moved up just to get onto this objective. And that means I've now got a decent control of this area. Overwatch potential on this is insane. Mm. Um, and the infiltrators are just spread out a little bit now. I've got a bit more space. Yep. So yeah, that's nice. the movement. Nice. I did do an imperative in the end. You did? Um, it's called Surging Vitality, and it's plus one to advance and charge rolls, because uh, I need to get on those objectives early. So if you're playing Synaptic Nexus, you're probably usually doing that turn one. Yeah. Okay, shoot me. Shoot me, Jord. What you got? Do you just, just want me to shoot you, yeah? Um, so oh, yeah. I'm going to shoot the Hell Blasters into the Exocrine. Okay. 20 shots. <laughs> Good luck, Exocrine. <laughs> I'm going to overcharge, because that's yeah. the Hell Blasters. Um, Obviously, ability they get to yep. shoot on death as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm hitting you on threes here, but because you're my over target, I'll be um, re-rolling misses. Okay. And I've got sustained hits because of Azrael. So let's just take out the ones and twos. How many sixes is that? Three so far. I'll give you some more dice in a moment. Four, and they all hit pretty much. Yep, so just put four back in for them, please, mate. There you go. Awesome. All right, strength eight. Okay, so fives to wound. Fives to wound here. Oh, that was Ooh, terrible. That was not great, was it? No. That's just four wounds, mate, at AP3. AP3, I've got a three up save. Um, I will have cover. Yep. Uh, so this will be fives, I believe. Uh, three yeah, up, yes, that's right. Three, yeah. So those go three in the damages. Two each. Two each, okay. Uh, so I need to roll 10. <laughs> See how many of my guys die. Now you've got Azriel as well. Oh, so it's 11. Even though Azriel didn't shoot, no, as in Azrael can shoot, right? Has, has, has he got range? I don't know if he's actually in range. I didn't realise he... Let's have a double check. Uh, it's 24. Um, looks like he's in as well, yeah. So two shots from Azrael. So Azrael's gun, Lion's Wrath. So he's got two shots, hitting on twos. That's one sustained. Very nice. Did you want to fish for another sustained? We may as well try. No, no mind. Cool. Um, and this is um, it's strength eight with okay. devastating wounds. Okay. So that's just two, two wounds go wounds. straight through. All right, I've got eight left on the Exocrine. Right, so I need to roll 11 dice here, don't I? You do. Uh, no, because his gun's not hazardous. Oh, yes. So just 10. Just the 10. So 10 dice on ones. Two. Two. So two die. Okay. Do they auto shoot or different? So it's on a three up. On a three up. So they are shooting. There we go. Right. <laughs> so four more shots. Yep. With re-rolls. With re-rolls. So I may as well just try and get the sustains, right? Uh, it's your call on that one because you're only hitting on threes. Okay, I'll keep the three that hit. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> fives. Just okay. the one. One. Uh, five up. No, two more damage. So six remaining on the Exocrine. Uh, not bad. I think... There was the potential there that you just picked it up with the, yeah. the wounding on fires. I don't think you rolled particularly well, but... I definitely didn't, mate. You have other guns. <laughs> yeah. so. so they've shot... We've obviously got the Cyclone Missile Launcher. Mm -hmm. So two shots coming at him. Hit on uh, twos because you're my oath target. Yeah. So two hits. Um, this is strength ten. Eight. Eight, so fives. Uh, nine, I think, actually, but five oh, still. Yeah, still nothing. Okay. Um, so he's shot. You have a Hunter shot. Killer Missile from the Raider. Yeah, you can see me. May as well shoot it then. Hit yeah. on twos. Hits. Um, threes to wounds. Threes, yeah. Doesn't wound. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. So that will... Is he in range for Meltwas, maybe? Mike is already happy about his dice rolls compared to last uh, week. Yeah, he's in range yeah. of the, uh, the Maliceptor. So we may as well shoot the Melters, the Molten yep. Melters. Yeah. One hit. Okay. Uh, fives. No, no wounds. Right. Okay. All right. Interesting. Um, was hoping for a bit more damage there. Mm. The Exocrine's going to put a lot of hurt into me now. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, that's not good. But at least I've got a 4 plus invulnerable save here. So oh, yeah, you do. Uh, cool. Yeah, that concludes Dark Angels turn one. Extend battle lines scored. Yep, I'll get five points for extend battle lines. Uh, assassinations, what characters have you got? I've got Big Mama Turbigan. Yep. I've got Swarm Lord. I've got Neuro Tyrant. And I've got Parasite, which is Lonot. Um, I can't get a CP anyway, so I'm going to keep assassinate because you have some decent options for me. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm com comfortable yeah. with that. So I I'll... would get rid of it personally. Yeah? Because the other cards in the deck are probably better. 
Yeah, but then I draw investigate signals and then... Well, at least you can drop Blau down and he can score it for you. Blau does more than investigate signals. I don't know How about dare that. you? I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, well, no, we can I'm decide gonna, in a I'm going to keep it. You're going to keep I'm it. I'm going to okay. keep it, but I'm cool. going to get five points for extend, so... All right, very good. Very good. So, on to your turn, mate. On to my turn. Um, let's draw some cards. Overwhelming force and engage on all fronts. Mm. I will go up to three command points because I have the Swarm Lord. Nice. You're on to two now. I am indeed. Um, okay. Some decisions to make. I will do a Battleshock check on the Exocrine real quick. It passes because it's in synapse range. Mm -hmm. And then move on to the movement phase. Let's do it. Alrighty. Cool. <laughs> um, not quite as big an impact as, as I thought they would have had. That was 20 dice, uh, not really paying free, to be honest. No, he needs some new dice. They have betrayed him compared to me last week. And it's been pointed out in chat, he needs bigger hands as well because Mike cannot load that big boy up. Um, <laughs> however, we have got a couple of questions, uh, Dark Angel uh, related, that I am unable to answer because I simply don't know the answers. Um, I've, I haven't seen anything um, prior to literally about an hour ago. So uh, that's where we're going, George, believe it or not. We're asking the man with the codex. And yeah. again, thank you, Games Workshop, for sending Vanguard Tactics, all the preview content and whatnot. So the first one will be actually to the pair of you. If an individual was to buy the Space Marine Masterclass, will there be updated videos for Dark Angel strategy now that there's a new codex and unit changes, or is it a separate package? Um, that is a great question. Well, we've been filming stuff today. So right? we've been filming Dark Angel's Masterclass. Mm -hmm. That is a separate uh, package. Uh, I suspect... Yeah, I don't know. We've yet to make a decision on whether we'll just update the ones that are in the Space Marine Codex. Yeah. Because they're relevant to the Codex itself, mm -hmm. we probably will just update that one. Yeah. But we may also include the information in the Dark Angels specific masterclass. Yeah. So it'll probably be the same videos, but they'll be in both mm -hmm. uh, masterclasses. But yes, we are absolutely looking at updating how new Dark Angels work with old codex yep yeah exactly fantastic uh, and a deaf uh, deaf angel dark angel <laughs> specific can deathwing terminators carry hammers and shields or lightning claws at all now what is their kit loadout and war gear options if you're so, able to answer jordan deathwing terminators they don't actually get the option now for hammers lightning claws or anything like that it's it's pretty um it's pretty much your space ring terminator squad but they have um, a different rule in terms of they ignore modifiers to weapon skill and ballistic skill. Uh, they still get the plus one to hit. But yeah, they're, they're, we they're melee loadouts. They only get chain fist, power fist, and a power weapon. Uh, but you can have plasma cannons. But if I'm honest, you would never take a plasma cannon. You've got cyclone missile launchers or the assault cannons, which is just better. So yeah, unfortunately, no. Um, that's more going to be your assault terminator squads from the Space Marine Codex, which you can still take. But... Yeah. So big investments into the Dark Angels upgrades for it to get all those plasma cannons. Do you get, know what? The, get I, them in. It's it's obviously it's a rule of call, cool, right? Is you want the plasma cannons, but I mean, as as your opponent, I also want you to hazard us and kill yourself. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I, I genuinely think that if you are taking Deathwing Terminators, you just put Cyclone missile launchers on. If you're going competitively, right? Um, if you do want rule of call, cool, then plasma cannons all the way because. Plasma just looks awesome. So. And in within the codex itself, mm. can you take normal Terminators? Yep. Or are they only faction specific? No, no. So you can take anything from the Space Marine Codex itself. If you are a Dark Angels player, you can also take Dark Angel specific stuff from the the codex. And so, as usual, you just can't mix two chapters together. Yeah, so I couldn't bringing. take Sanguinary Guard with Deathwing Terminators. I bet you would love to do that, though, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> I absolutely wouldn't. I think that's two units that have... Heresy. 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 <laughs> Heresy. Heresy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you could definitely take everything from the Space Marine Codex still. And they would get the Deathwing keyword if you took um, Deathwing Terminators. No, sorry, just normal Terminator squads or Terminator Assault squads. You're going to get the Deathwing keyword for that lovely great was that all the questions that is us done with the questions from okay. chat thank you very there much you keep them coming in chat and yeah so as you said that 
was a whiff of a dice roll by our little Jordan there. Yeah, I think we're going to see quite the slapback from Mike here. With yeah, the there's, a, there's a bunch of biomass <laughs> about to go and get eaten. He, all the, those terminators that are strung up literally like Skittles, ready to be plucked one by one. Mmm, yummy. LPP Skittles. spent all that time painting them for a moment to be on the board <laughs> for one turn. That's uh, sad, sad LPP noises. Only a little bit of giggly ghost in the corner. Mm. As you can see, we guessed it. You know, Mike, Mike's pushed up. Hard and aggressive now onto that big pile in the middle. Wow, they um, Is that the gargoyles? That's the parasite and the gargoyles, isn't it? They are, yeah, they've just yeeted themselves by the looks of it. Um, coming up that flank, you know, Jaws got most of his central mass. He's got the uh, dudes under the building to the left on that objective, which is his oafed um, or sacred, whatever we're calling it. Jordan, what are we calling that objective? Vowed, 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 vowed yeah. uh, um, objective. But yeah, all that stuff sitting in the middle, ready just to just for a bit of attrition now from Mike to throw mortal wounds at it, devastate wounds, whatever, from psychic abilities and try and eat some stuff. Yeah, I suppose we have to see how durable uh, these Terminators are as they hold the line and the Hellblasters cover them whilst uh, Mike plays around, moves around the flanks and kind of just pokes like a, stings like a bee and floats like a butterfly, I suppose. We'll see. Yeah, last week we had just the... Uh, the big leg from the stalker that was popping onto objectives. I wonder if tonight he's just putting a claw or a tail on it. Um, yeah, we're getting close. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, Michael abusing the model rules. Uh, and I think we're done. So let's hear what's going on. If it fits, it sits. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what I say. Um, I say heresy. So, heresy. <laughs> heresy. <laughs> heresy and tarnation. Um, what? You not heard that before? <laughs> no. Heresy intarnation. What? Never even heard of the word intarnation, mate. It's you've it's made that and up. tarnation. Oh, and tarnation. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, if, you know, if you've heard it before, that. let me know. Um, on this flank, I've advanced. Obviously, I have plus one to my advance rolls. Uh, the Turvigon Big Mama has put herself on the objective. Mm. I did roll a big six on the Termigants. Uh, and they've got three models on the objective, so I do now out OC the Land Raider, mm -hmm. and I am out of sight, so I would not be overwatched. Malaceptor's just moved up. It's got that nice minus one to hit aura yep. that everybody loves, uh, and it's going to just have a go at the Land Raider. It's only strength 10, so I don't expect it to do much for me. Imagine if you pop it. Well, someone's done that to me before with my Land Raider, so yeah. Um, you do owe me a Battleshock test, so the Neuralictor is going to make the Hellblasters do a Battleshock for me. You what? Mate. They pass. Don't even try um, me again like that. Okay, come on, man. And that would have been to avoid an overwatch, but you've actually decided not to overwatch um, what I've yeah. got in front of me, right? Yeah. I've only got two CP and I want to use that for something special. Okay. Uh, oh, so I have a six inch charge with the plus one with these warriors, the mm -hmm. melee warriors. Treat yourself. And then the Norn's gone this way because I don't really want to sit a massive model doing nothing on an objective the entire game. Ha ha ha. So, you know, good, good play, games. good sir. Mind games. Uh, so. That's about a seven inch charge on that flank. The Parasite Mortex rolled a six on its advance. <laughs> we were feeling right. pretty speedy today, so moved 19 inches. Does that mean if you roll a six on the advance and you get plus one to advance, can you go, do you go seven on the advance? Yes. Yeah. So there's yeah. no cap on the There's the no advance. cap, provided you've done a roll, yeah. you get the plus one. Awesome. If you auto advance six, then you didn't roll, so you don't get the plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, the gargles have stayed where they are. Uh, I've done that because I need engage. And that's my fastest unit. Yep. Uh, and is lone op, so relatively protected, and is just about on the objective. Yeah, I like it. Uh, okay, so let's see about scoring overwhelming force by killing a unit on an objective. Can you kill five Deathwing Knights and the captain? <laughs> uh, it's a tough, tough ask, this one. Um, so, <laughs> first things first, I will do the Exocrine. We'll fire the Exocrine. I need to get rid of the Terminators, but you also have in the, the Plasma guys. I have a lot of you space, have a lot of right space here, marines right here. Um, I'll fire the Exocrine at the Plasma guys. You yep. what? It's happening at your Do Hell it. Blasters. Hit me with your best shot. I will hit you with my best shot. Could you sing that next time, please, George? Hit me with your best shot. Okay, that's enough. We don't want to get copyright. Oh, you're just meant to finish the line. What, what's the next line? Sorry. <laughs> Fire away! <laughs> uh, you know, so, Michael has got the hair to start a new punk rock band. He does, so. to be honest. <laughs> it's D6 plus three shots, so four plus three is seven. You're Good welcome, maths. everybody. Good math. Uh, it is blast. You still have uh, eight or nine? Nine? Not. It's not plus two. It's just plus one. 
you lost a couple of guys. I did. Uh, I did stand still. Did you? But I am... Um, oh, I'm just above my uh, damaged profile. Yeah. So, two's to hit you. It was fake plasma that I shot at you. Well, I'm not shooting fake plasma at you, mate. <laughs> oh, you're not. That's <laughs> two's, mate. <laughs> okay. Uh, Why there you are go. you getting all the good rolls? Well, I'm owed some good rolls. Oh, I could shoot back if I die. Yeah, you could, un unfortunately. Okay, three die. Man, Azrael is so good. Four up in one. Right, let's see if they shoot back, yeah? Yeah, okay. Damn! Ooh, that's <laughs> rough. That's <is> rough. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> okay, but you did uh, only lose three. To the Salamander four. will die, the Templar will die, and the Ultramarine will die. Okay. I wonder which one's going to die last. The Blood Angel. <laughs> the Ashur, Blood Angel. Ashur dies before the Blood Angel. <laughs> uh, the Norn Emissary will fire. Uh, what's the Norn Emissary got here? Nothing. Norn Emissary. Sorry, guys, I've not actually used a Norn Emissary before. Yes, you have. On the Masterclass. Well, yeah, on the Masterclass. But... <laughs> right, 18 inch range. That's I not going to hit the Land Raider. Um, I will fire this at the Hell Blasters. <laughs> oh, did you say that? So, Hell Blasters? Oh, question, question mark, myself, question you know? mark, question mark. I don't really know. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess we'll do that. You stole all the dice. Haha, <laughs> You tactics. fiend. You can learn these skills can... on Vanguard tactics. <laughs> <laughs> Take all the dice. Ah, the good, the good sportsmanship. Yep, exactly. Um, I am going to fire my 2d6 blast at the Hellblasters. So 2d6, 8, plus uh, 1. Thank you. Uh, and then this is 2s to hit you. Okay. Good shooting. Uh, and then this is only strength 6, so 3s. Good shooting. Okay. <laughs> Minus two, one damage. Hey, I've got an invul. Uh, oh yeah, you've got an invul. Uh, oh, boy, do you have an invul. I have one dead. One dead. Does he shoot back? Or just shoot? He does. He does. Who would you like to beast. shoot? Um, the warriors. Well. Threes. Okay. Uh, toughness, five? Five, threes. So threes. Yes. Cool. AP3. I mean, go straight through damage two, right? Yes. Uh, so one wound remaining on this Okay, I'm going to kill the Dark Angel. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, all right, well, moving swiftly on. I'm going to fire an Exocrine at your Raider. Exocrine? Not an Exocrine, sorry, the Maliceptor oh. at your Raider. <laughs> yeah, I'm just oh, gonna, another one. <laughs> just going to cheat and shoot twice. They're everywhere. <laughs> um, you get four shots, mate. Yeah, I'm debating whether to CP that. Uh, I've got the CP, I'm not currently using them on anything else right now. I will CP the number of shots. Two, six. Um, good. Yeah, so yep, nine. That was a good CP. That was a worthwhile CP. Uh, and then, oh, threes. Okay, kind of wish I'd spend it on that reroll ones to hit and wound thing now. You know what? <laughs> Would you have wanted to? No, I've only got one thing shooting okay. right now. Uh, I wound you three times with my strength 10. It is AP two. AP two. Uh, with no cover. So fours. So okay. Go through. So it's six total damage. Got six. Ten remaining. Stealing all the wound dice. Uh, I advanced with swarm loyalties not shooting. X screen shoot shot. Them. These guys don't have guns. Time to charge. First of all, I will charge with the warriors. Cool. I need a six. That's a seven. Uh, so they're in. And then just quickly, I need a seven with the Norn. I get a nine. So let me move those in. So uh, I rolled a seven here, which becomes an eight. We're gonna eat some Terminators. I thought you were gonna say Termigants. No, we've already eaten them. That was our pre-game snack. Do Tyranids snack. eat other Tyranids? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Is there like an okay thing in a Tyranid society for cannibalism? <laughs> What you think there's a Tyranid society? Yeah, <laughs> the there's no society. Tyranid society. <laughs> what did you say? I'd, I'd be curious to know about the law of a too high fleets 
bumping into each other. No, they they cool. do fight each other. Do they, they do. Consume? They do. Yes. They are the fittest in, wins. Independent. Just survival of the fittest. Independent nids. I, exactly. Survival of the fittest. It's a subset. Yeah. Yeah. Is there multiple hive minds or just one hive mind? Uh, it's just I think one. It's just it? one hive mind. But you multiple. Know what? That guy sucks. Wow. You caught it here first, folks. Yep. Well. Do you want to say it one more time for the camera? The hive mind sucks. Someone clip that. You'll go, mate. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, I am going to attack with my warriors. Oh, well, you don't. Uh, do you want to do any stratagems or anything? Um, well, because you're attacking with the warriors first, I was hoping you'd go with the Norn first. Yeah. But they're not going to kill the Norn back, so interrupting is actually useless here anyway. Mm -hmm. So what's the strength of your warriors? Uh, it's strength six and twin linked. Well, I'm going to use unmatched fortitude here. Okay. Oh, no, I can't because it's shooting phase. Sorry, I'm um, cheating there. Um, I'm going to go for duty unto death. So okay. that's fight on death on threes. Okay, nice. Nice. Is that um, just one CP? One Sorry. CP. Did you want to armor contempt for free? You got I captain as well, in there? yeah. Captain's there, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'll armor contempt for free, Very and nice. then I'll use duty unto death for one CP. Okay, I'm just quickly looking for a stratagem that's going to help me kill you. Um... I have a basic move Fight question. phase, reroll hit rolls of one. I'll have to get later. I'll do that. Okay. So I'm going to play a CP on Irresistible Will, mm -hmm. which will allow me to pick a enemy unit and a synapse unit that hasn't four uh, until the end of the phase. Each time a friendly tyrant is more make, makes an attack that targets that unit. Um, if the attacking model's unit is within six inches of your synapse unit, reroll hit roll of one and a wound roll of one. Okay. So basically, the Norn and the Warriors will get reroll ones to hit and wound. Cool. Uh, I know they've got twin linked, but it will help the Norn out. What I should have done, and this is for future and anyone who's looking at playing this, is I should have used Unmatched Fortitude here with the Hell Blasters against right. the Exocrine, because then I would have got minus one to wound. I didn't realise it was shooting, I thought it was combat as well. Uh, okay. So I could have used minus one to wound from the Exocrine shooting at these, because the strength's higher than their toughness. Right. Um, right. And their okay. Deathwing infantry. So I could have done that. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's, mean, just, that's just for the future. Like, yeah, it doesn't okay. matter now, I'm just saying for... Like, if you are interested in this detachment. Yeah, absolutely. Because that I, I for sure rolled some twos. Yeah, so that, that would wound. have helped. And then, of course, I shot you as well with the, yeah. the Norn. So it probably would have saved two or three of them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm going uh, to need some more dice. Because <laughs> we get up. a lot of attacks. Don't and forget to make a, a awkward eye contact. Mm -hmm. Load me up. Chris, yeah. we talked about this. <laughs> I've loaded myself up, mate. Wow, you're an he, independent He even man. patted his hair for you, George. <laughs> Look at you, independent. <laughs> There's six more Big strong this. hands. Uh, do you hit on twos? I do not hit on twos. Uh, oh. There's also no prime leading the unit. Because he ain't worth it. Not a prime target. That's a two then. That's a two. Thank you. Yeah. Cheater. Here we go. Like the and animal then, cheater as well. Strength six. What's your toughness? Toughness five. T5. Is that it? I am only a terminator, mate. Making me doubt myself. Oh, I know that toughness five. It's all right, Jordan. It's not all right. <laughs> uh, so we are twin linked. Okay, there you go. Roll that for me, please. AP. AP two down to AP one. Woohoo! Load me up. So threes. Oof. 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 Oh <laughs> dear. Oh dear. What's going on? So you are four wounds apiece. Remember. Oh, okay. That's cool. So one, that was terrible. two, so two and a half die. I oh. lost an arm of one guy, basically. Um, those two that died, though, do they fight on death? One does. One does, okay, cool. So who do I want to take off? Hmm. Well, he's the sergeant, so I can't get rid of him. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's going to come off. You're going to have to think about coherency. But he will be able to pile in. So I'm going to be able to pile in here, because he's not in well, base. I will be able to consolidate before you. Okay, so I'm going to have to kill my sergeant, is what you're telling However, me. However, the person who can pile in is definitely your captain. Yeah. Because you can come around. I can't stop him so from I piling can take in. Him. So you can take him. And that then your he captain can, can bring in. in the line and you can keep your sergeant alive. And where can you learn this, Mike? <laughs> on the academy. <laughs> um, if you are interested, Great the work. academy goes on pre order um, this week, in fact, and opens its doors. Um, so the actual course starts on the 4th of March, uh, 4th or 5th. Um, so you, definitely there's a link, I think, to the wait list below um, and look out for the pre-order email uh, this week. Right, four yes. attacks. Go on then. Hitting on twos. 
I like it. I like it a lot. Um, strength six, but I get plus one to wound here, so it can be twos to wound, right? Oh yeah, yeah, you do, yeah, twos. Good, good job. <sighs> <laughs> two AP. AP two, AP one. AP one. Damage so, two. Uh, five ups, I make one, you yeah. kill the wounded lad. Um, I should have piled him earlier, but there we go. One is deaded. Deaded, I like it. All right, Mr. Norn. Mr. Norn. The emissary of Norn. So this guy, has got a fair few attacks, hasn't he? Are any, some of you are wounded, right? Your minus one damage? I've got minus one damage. Okay, well, I'll hit you with damage three first because you've got a guy with two wounds left. No, because right. you're only one damage. Oh yeah, I've got a guy with two wounds. Sorry, sorry, yes, yes, yeah? yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. So that my damage three will go down to damage two and if one goes through, it'll kill the guy. Yeah. So that's what we're going for. Six stacks hit on twos. They all hit. Uh, strength nine, so just threes. Five. At minus two, <laughs> that's Down sad, isn't it? So three up saves. <laughs> I still fail two. Okay. Damage. Uh, damage three. Down to two. So you kill that guy, mm -hmm. and that guy goes down to two. Okay. So does he fight on death? He does. Excellent. I do have more attacks, so I'll resolve those before you them, get yeah. me back. Uh, four attacks hit on twos. No fancy things going on here. Uh, then wounding on threes. These are again only AP two. Stop failing them! <laughs> Good work, but they are only damage two. So they're damage to damage one? Yeah. Will it still kill the guy? Oh no, Mike, I've lost coherency. I'd have to kill the sergeant, right? You'd have to kill the sergeant, but maybe he'll fight on death and redeem, redeem you. Right, I'll do that. And he's on two. Cool. Right, fight on death. He does. Okay, so, so you've got one normal dude and the sergeant fighting on death. Are both into the warriors? Warriors, mate, okay. yeah. So this is the normal dude. Uh, he hits all the time. Very nice. Uh, two's to wound. <laughs> <laughs> Two saves, AP one. Uh, fives. No, it's another warrior down. Yeah. Um, and then... Great mace of the unforgiven. He's unforgiven in my eyes. So he's got five attacks hitting on two. I've just realised I'm not going to get overwhelming force, am I? Because I haven't killed you. not. Hmm. Okay. Um, He's got sustained. He does have sustained. Right, he's strength six with devastating wounds and plus one to wounds, so it'd be twos, but six is his death. Okay, very nice. I don't know why it's I told you about one. the death wounds. <laughs> he keeps Three. The uh, AP? AP? AP two, this one. Uh, okay, so six is. Oh dear. Uh, two damage apiece. Another one dead and one with a wound from Another remaining. one bites the dust. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. That's what two minutes sound like. When they nah. uh, over to you. Cool. Right. This big guy. Big man. Here he comes. <laughs> ah. Right, I'm going to have to hit your Norn. But you are in range of the Warriors, engagement range, even though you're not in base of base or whatever. All right, I'll slap your Warriors. It, it's up to you. I, I, don't I will mind. slap your really. Warriors happily, mate. It will make a lot of sense to slap so, the Warriors. Where is my Capitan? Do you know what? I've not actually used the Terminator yeah. Captain before. Oh, right. No. Only Terminator Librarians. I mean, I would argue that Terminator Librarians are better. They are better. I've got six attacks, though. Okay. Hitting on twos. Right. And then he's strength six, strength five. So I'm wounding you on fours, plus one to wound. So it's going to be threes. I could armor of contempt. I'm very tempted to do it. Do you want to do it? Yeah, we'll try and keep some warriors alive. Yeah, that's three wounds. AP two Four. down to one. Four wounds down to AP one, so fives. It kind of helped. Two die though. Is that one CP, Mike? That's one CP, so I've got no CP left. Uh, there's one warrior remaining. And you have one knight to hit me as well. And my watcher gets to hit you back. Oh, another uh, watcher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Tickle those ankles. This is the last Deathwing Knight. He hits all the time. Yeah. Twos to wounds. He wounds three times. Uh, AP two down to one. AP one down to zero. So, so four, four saves. Four, yeah. Come on! Oh god, oh. that's dead. Goodbye, that is my a warrior. Dead warrior. Alrighty. Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. not. They're not the damage three monsters they used to be. Who your guys? No, your guys. 
I killed you. But you still killed me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, it's like, you so know. On, on that side note, we have got a £2 super chat. James Hobbs, as usual. Thank Legend. you very much. Totally worth the 290 points, those Deathwing Knights. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, they're not. They're not. For 290 points, definitely not. Um, no. Absolutely not. Would, you, would damage... you also say, and this is me throwing you under the bus slightly, mm-hmm. potentially a little bit of a bad play as well? Palm, like, Ooh. pushing them into the middle? Maybe. I don't... Like that, knowing that all those big monsters were coming straight towards you? Like, no. there's not a lot that would have survived anyway, that onslaught. To be honest, they probably... I don't think I should have lost that many. To Warriors. You did fail a lot of three up saves. I, I don't <laughs> think that they should have lost that many, but I was planning to lose two or three, right? Yeah. Um, I think putting them here has now brought you over here. Yeah. Whereas if I put them there, I, I would have basically had the same situation, but mm-hmm. I'm not doing anything for the whole game. Whereas here, now I've got everything in range and I've still got my army to come down. Yeah. So... No, I, I don't think it was a, a bad play, necessarily. I think... It has forced my hand. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, you start to control that area of the board. Mm-hmm. Um, Mike's little claw has been forced. You mm. have, of course, killed the unit as well. You've stopped me getting overwhelming force, but you've tempted me with it. I have. Um, yeah. Yeah, cool. I'm happy with that. Well, at the end of my turn, I don't get overwhelming force. No. Um, I will hold on to it because you're going to have to be on objectives. Yes. And it's worth uh, good points. Um, I do score engagement all fronts for... Uh, three, three, three victory quarters. points because I'm in three quarters yeah. and I'm playing tactical. Uh, nice. I will keep overwhelming force as I said. Um, other than that, that's me done. I like it. Um, I did, however, successfully deny primary. You have, yeah, yeah. And George, you go up one CP or do you go up two, two CP? So I'm up to three CP in total. Happy days. I'm on one. Um, so in my turn two, um, I need to take my vowel objective marker. Um, over time. To be honest, I think they'll probably just stay the same for this turn. Yeah, fair. Um, but my secondary defense stronghold. Okay, it's not bad for. I kind don't of really think I can stop you. Yeah, um, cool. I'm happy with that. All right, we'll go to the movement phase and we'll um, be back in a moment. But before we continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Outpost. If you're looking for great deals on your miniatures, paints and gaming supplies, we've got you covered. Their wide variety of exceptional service makes them the go-to destination for all hobby needs. So don't wait, check out The Outpost today. Link in the description below. Great, and... Oh, sorry, Mike, did you want to say something? Yeah, I've got something to say. So, Jaws just into Battle Shocks. Yeah. And he failed one on Azrael's unit. Mm. Uh, I have a really cool stratagem where if you're within a certain distance of the synapse, I can basically roll six dice and threes will do mortals right, okay. uh, to a unit that's just failed a battle shock. Does that mean I get to shoot on death after? Oh god, you would. <laughs> <laughs> you would as well. I'm doing it anyway. I'll never get to use this strat again. Threes are mortals. There you go, five mortals. Cool. How much CP is that? One CP, so I'm out now. Do I get Azriel's Watcher in the Dark? Or does he uh, not give you four film? He things? I think he still does. He's got a little watcher on his uh, no, he's got a separate one, but he does have one. Yeah, I sure. do I do have one. And it's constant, it's not once per game you see both. Oh wow. So did you want to use that stratagem if you knew that? Uh, yeah, well it's less guns shooting me I've got a four plus film paint. Properly, here. right? Um I've got four up in them, so Armour of Contempt's not going to do anything. Yeah, I'm doing it. I've rolled the dice. Okay, so one dice. Yeah, take that. Does he shoot on death? He doesn't. Yeah, take that. Right, Dark Angel, you're dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've killed the Dark Angels. Um, we've currently got three of the coolest chapters running around right now. And what yeah. chapters are those? Blood Angels, White Scars, and Space Wolves. Chat, do you agree with that? <laughs> Don't throw me under the bus, <laughs> Seb. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, sorry to interrupt. That's resolved. Yeah, that's all. Phase. Carry on with the movement. Cool. Well, well after Mike rudely interrupted there, Seb, oh, yeah, well, back right. to us, the main show of the night. Uh, well, that didn't quite hurt George as much as I thought it did, but that is 290 yeah. points of his army deleted, essentially, or wrapped up in yeah. the centre of the board, which is quite painful. And that middle objective being contested for. Stings. 
yeah, yeah. That, that Norn as well that, that's him now on there with OC15 and all of his little buffs um, because that oh, was the that. selected uh, objective for the Norn yeah. emissary so he's now super tanky standing in the middle uh, staring down the barrel of a few of uh, George's units there um, Jord now pushing that land raider obviously up onto that flank I'm guessing to try and make a bit of distance and whatever's yeah. uh, hiding behind that building obviously the camera's slightly out from but we'll uh, we'll speak to Mike in a second and find out what's hiding in there yeah um, so f from this point do you think Jord tries to deal with the Norn or plays around it because it's so tanky now it's sitting in that middle objective do you, you try and move it or do you just go go around the flanks and ignore it I think, think with Mike, um, Mike's, uh, with George's sort of smaller quantity of resources, especially yeah. after that unit's been picked up, he needs to just look at everything else first. The Norn can only have those benefits while it's sat on the objective. You know, just ignore it, and it's not going to go away, but he's just going to curl up in a little ball and just hold that, and you can worry about it later. It's all that extra stuff around those objectives now that are going to be uh, causing carnage to George, you know, picking other units up and all that, that, you know, stay out of harm's way and out of reach of the Norn. True. And it can't hurt you. It has to come for you, which means it has to step off the objective. So um, I think it is one of those models that it's a psychological factor, especially when you put it in the center like that, that you now have to avoid it. Um, yeah. They're playing tactical, so there is going to be secondary cards like Air of Denial, uh, Deploy Homers, that potentially if Jord isn't far enough forwards into Mike's uh, deployment that he can't do without clearing that Norn. So... He will have to do something about it eventually, but right now probably isn't the time. Yeah, uh, interesting. So looking from last turn, uh, you were questioning whether George should have put those Deathwing Knights in the middle objective. Would you have done something differently, do you think? I feel that they, I mean, this is coming from the, you know, I'm certainly no Space Marine expert. But I feel that they were stood in the open with all those big monsters basically opposite him. They were all coming out to get a line of sight, whether it was the Exocrine, the Horse, not the Horse Vex, the, uh, the other psych psychic Malceptor. one there, Malcept, so that's the one, the Norn Embassy. They were all looking at the, that centre objective. You know, it was declared that it was going to be the um, target for the Norn. I maybe would have held them back and used them as the counter charge um, in maybe this turn, knowing that the Norn would have tried pushing on. There's that nice little L shape um, just to the, the Norn's right, our left, as we're looking at it. Oh, yeah, I see. But, you know, he potentially could have hidden and then came out. He might have had to have deal with the Warriors in melee, but I think that would have paid off a lot better than having a tank, uh, a whole bunch of shots, followed by everyone sort of slashing and biting at him there in the middle. I suppose it's quite a risky gamble. Uh, whether it's paid off or not, uh, I'm not sure, but we've just had Clayton Sanford uh, come in, member for eight months. Um, I'll, I'll read this one out to you, George. Um, Clayton's got a message for you when you're ready to hear it, uh, but he's also gifted 10 Vanguard Tactics memberships. Thank you very much. Ooh, I was hoping I was going to pick one up there, oh, but I haven't. Oh. No. Oh. Not yet, not time. yet. I'm hanging on in there. Well, to be fair, my phone's not even turned on. God, <laughs> I, God I'm cheap. Um, imagine what it's like taking me out on the date. Uh, Archangels. There's, there's been a lot of comments about the Dark Angels Codex and people feel it is a little bit of a disappointment, a little bit lacklustre with the points changes, etc. Um, I mean, I get everyone's pain. However, I think there has been an element of balance so far on a lot of the codexes that have dropped. Like, I feel that there's some detachments that everyone feels are super stand out and seem obvious, but then it's some of these sort of the smaller detachments within the new codexes that have also done really well. True. And it's just a matter of people playing with them and as other codecs release, you know, it may balance out. And, you know, apart from uh, Eldar, who will be broken throughout <laughs> 10th edition by the looks of things, you know, I feel that as each codex comes out, it adds another layer and another way of playing and hopefully a little bit of enjoyment for the players as well. Of, you know, I, I throw my toys out the pram all the time that I lose games, but sometimes I'm happy to lose games as long as I'm enjoying playing. It's when I don't enjoy playing that, obviously, I go off an army or, you know, start feeling a bit miserable on a Saturday into my third game thinking, why do I even want to come on a Sunday? Yeah, no, I mean, that's a fair point. I are, wouldn't either. Are you any closer to uh, joining us at an event anytime soon, Sam? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he no, says so really. nervously I, looking at me. <laughs> I went to my first uh, doubles event, like my first event ever, um, last year, uh, December. Oh, um, so long ago last year. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I said last year. I was trying to remember. <laughs> my memory is so bad. Um, yeah, and I played Necrons and uh, joined Michael in a doubles event. You're he such a meta chaser. God, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I was like, oh, Canoptic Court? Yeah, I'll try that out. I did play Canoptic Court as well. That's the thing <laughs> about it. But, um, yeah, it was pretty fun. I don't know if I enjoy Canoptic Court, to be honest, though. 
but um, story for another time because it looks like they're ready. So let's not dilly dally. George, uh, what have you done? A lot. Um, so I've basically brought down quite a few assets onto the board now. The Terminators that I had, the Deathwing Terminators, have now come down on this flank to basically they've deep struck within three using the Relic Teleportarium. So that's one CP that I've spent doing that. Um, so, and then also the, whatever they're called, the Plasma Inceptors. I've also deep striked within three, but that's their ability. And they're now looking at the Parasite Amortrex, hopefully to get me some assassination points. Um, I fell back out of the combat with the Norn just because Mike's going to be hitting me first. It seems stupid just to sit there and take some hits. So I felt just pull back and move block for another turn. The Plasma guys, I was going to move them forward to try and deny Mike some primary points, but the battle shocked, so there's no point because they're not going to be able to take it. So they're going to stay there and just get plus one to hit using heavy and shoot the Exocrine, which, which is my oath target for this turn. These Terminators, a couple have just hopped out just so I can get some more pop shots off, potentially. Um, and yeah, and oh, and the Land Raider, the biggest thing that's happened this turn is the Land Raider's moved around the side on the objective still, but I've got a bead onto the Termagants and all the um, uh, Blade Guard and Ezekiel have hopped out ready to charge the uh, Termagant and if there are any Termagants left, hopefully the Termagants. Yes, so Termagants in here does have minus one damage. Yeah. Um, the termagants are in here as well. Um, so looking at it back, we're always here for tactics. I actually think because you're, so the odds are on that you'll kill the parasite here. Mm -hmm. I have used my imperative for a fiber bin bun across any unit that is in synapse range. Unfortunately, the parasite is not in synapse range and I didn't give it one of my tokens. Yeah. Um, so your odds on to kill the parasite. So this terminator squad could actually drop here and deny the objective from the Norn. Because mm -hmm. he's only 5 OC, because I picked that objective at the start of the game. Yep. So I actually think a three inch deep strike here would deny my primary on this objective. And so, that's a whole five points I can't get. Yep. And you can still move block with this unit to stop me charging your, um, the, the librarian's unit. So the other thing I was thinking is potentially having the Terminators burn that objective. Okay. To basically force the fight over here. Okay. Because that Nord's not going anywhere anytime soon. I've got to turn them for my guys just to walk across and charge it. But if the Norn now comes over here and charges you, mm -hmm. it's got OC15 on the objective. Well, it's not going to be able to get onto the objective unless it kills all of them. That is true. So you're not actually going to get your benefits until you kill those Termin Terminators. Okay. Challenge accepted. So the Terminators will start burning. I think it's worth it because I could get five points well, and that's going to give you... You're me... not going to be shooting then, are you? This I'm is the problem. Confident. You want the shooting. How many wounds does he actually crin on? He's got six left. The burn is not worth losing out on that unit's incredible shooting ability. Okay. So I, as a friend, <laughs> recommend... Are you? The three inch deep strike here. <laughs> why, why did Michael switch when he said that then? I don't know. That's why I, I just <laughs> seen it again. It's definitely his eye. left eye went. Yeah. <laughs> As your friend. <laughs> As your colleague. <laughs> um, no, do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with it. Okay. Guys, be I, stubborn. I, I want to I see how my plan goes. Sure. Um, All right. Live and learn by my mistakes. Okay, cool. We'll do that. Before yeah. you start, yeah. we have got a, another super chat from Clayton Sanford. Thank you very much. Uh, and sorry, he's been a member for eight yeah. months. It wasn't a super chat, but he did gift 10 memberships. It's, it all happened all at once. It was very exciting. Um, his message to you, George. I'm very disappointed in how her 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 heretical <laughs> you have been lately. Put my teeth back in. Jesus. I still have to pull for uh, the Marine Armies. If only the bugs had left the ball alone. Bow, ball. Dude, yeah, some, ball. Some, some yeah. stupid ball. planet that no one really cares about, isn't Black it? Rage. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Oh, well, you, wrong army. Don't go Kobe on us. Oh, I thought he was there. <laughs> no, um, yeah, dudes. I wish it was Blood Angels. But it's not. It's Dark Angels. Uh, someone's got to pilot the Dark Angels, and I think they, they've still got some cool, cool characters, right? Not quite Blood Angels. I don't think anyone could ever live up to the Blood Angels, but hey, here we are. You've also got Jake in the chat. Uh, VT Jake. Go on, Jordan. Now, Gorilla, press the table. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys remember on stream where Steve did some sit-ups down here? Yeah. Oh, do you did not remember? A, um, 
Wolves it. It was Mandy that told him to do that. I can't wait to be on stream with Steve just to make him look small. I'm really excited. Steve. God, that would be crazy. I'm just going to bicep <laughs> curl Steve. Do it. Yeah, there we go. That's happening next time. Um, shooting. Yes. <laughs> can we? Can I just confirm two CP, George? You spent the one? Spend the one, yeah, yep. to do Relic Teleportarium over here. Happy. Nice. Cool. So we'll start with the Plasma um, guys. Hellblasters. Hellblasters. I that's the ones, the yeah. Good job. Um, then they don't have melee stuff so that's why it's not familiar to me right uh so three plasma guys shooting into the hexagon yes. and azrael and course. azrael so i'll i'll hazardous overcharge them yeah hitting on twos because we've stood still you are my over target so not. did you want to fish for sixes if you're hitting on twos? I'm, I'm going to yeah that's okay, why you do good. it that's why you do it um cool strength eight okay so, so fives again fives Oof. that's not good Oh, do I have to die to shoot you and actually kill you? Right, three dice. Uh, so you got um, Azrael first. Oh yeah, Azrael. He's, I'm gonna try and fish, try and get a six. I don't, but I hit both times. Mm -hmm. Fives on this guy. No, okay. <sighs> <laughs> right, <laughs> three guys, hazardous. Yay, one dies. Now I can shoot again. <laughs> Two shots. Oh, uh, it's on a three up, you get to shoot. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> right, cool. Hitting on twos. Let's fish for sixes. Oh. <laughs> Fives to wound. <laughs> yeah, I got a wound. Got a wound. Uh, it's five up. Save with cover. Yeah. Goes through. Oh, and I have God. four wounds remaining. <laughs> right, who's the worst chapter here? Space Wolves. Right. What, what are your options left there, George? Uh, Blood Angels on White Scars. It's a tough one here. Is it? Azrael's, <laughs> Azrael's going to die next. White, white. <laughs> <laughs> Azure's gonna have to take one for the team. <laughs> so cool. That didn't go as well as I wanted. You guys suck. Right, these guys. Oh, I could still shoot his cyclone into. Yeah, or you mine. could fire the entire very good unit <laughs> with sustained hits at me instead of burning an objective. Alright, I'll do that. Okay. Sure. Sure. Storm bolters, they're not gonna be in rapid fire range, so I'm just gonna get ten shots? Twelve shots? Uh, so you, shots each, you'll right? have one on the Libby as well, but you'll probably have a combi weapon on the Libby. Makes the most sense. Okay. So you'll have five well, You wrote my list, Mike. <laughs> hey, we worked on it together, actually. We did. Partly. Right. Um, so One missed, but one sustained. Right, but you are hitting on twos. Okay, I, I will re-roll everything. Okay. Um, apart from the sustained one. <laughs> yeah, good choice. <laughs> okay, so I've got two sustained. Okay. Uh, so you go back one in. miss. Uh, yeah, one miss, yeah. Uh, it's sixes. Oh, that sucks. One uh, wound, one, sir. Three up. Ah. I am okay. A combi weapon? Combi one shot? Weapon, yeah, one shot. He hits. Cool. I'll try for the sustain. You may as well. <sighs> Still hits. Every time I go, honestly, it gives me the <laughs> biggest heart attack. I'm just going to get a one. Sixes? Nope. Okay, all right. Cyclone and smite. This unit's great, George. Why don't you shoot this into this guy? <laughs> Two hits. <laughs> Oh, you can re-roll for... I'll re-roll, yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to roll some sixes, George. Oh, Mike, you, stop you, need, you need to start talking to the dice before you roll them. You need Please. to tell them what they're going to be. Please, be a six. Ooh. Right, I'm you need to be realistic as well. You've got the smite from the Psyker. How many guns does this guy have? I'm right. telling you, it's a good squad. D if you roll well. Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> D6 shots. Okay, that's, that's pretty decent. Right, <laughs> Okay. We're going to fish. We're going to fish. Oh, we fished okay. Two go back in. Yeah, strength six. Uh, I think it's still... Oh, it's B5s. It's strength six. Just the one, Just mate. the one. This is dev wounds as well. All you needed was a couple of sixes. Well, that's all I needed. Uh, AP two. I'm okay. All right, sure. Oh, I need to see if I blow up. No. You, you don't blow up. Um, cool. So this guy is going to see if he can do some damage. Mm -hmm. He's going to shoot his cyclone there. And the two guys that have got storm bolters... Well, that's only three up saves. You may yeah, as well. sure. Not the Malice Scepter. Storm Bolters. And then sixes. Okay. Sorry for wasting your time at home, guys. Um, right, Cyclone. Cyclone, yeah. <laughs> Two hits. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try. I don't have it sustained. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fives. <laughs> hey, we got a wound. <laughs> I rolled a six. <laughs> What's this technology? It's terrible. Okay, they suck, they suck, they suck. I have plasma inceptors. Yeah. Uh, six shots. This is gonna hurt. I'm don't, gonna don't blame models for your dice rolls. 
Uh, don't, honestly, don't be like Mike. Don't be like Mike. I do have stealth, so you are minus one to hit. Ooh. I have five wounds. Would you like to overcharge? I would love to overcharge. Okay, very good. Because I've killed more of my models than you've killed of mine. So, so currently true. Yes. Ooh, tasty. Okay. Right. Uh, toughness five. So strength eight. So threes. Oh my god. Okay. What's the AP I've on got these? Some wounds, Mike. Uh, they use an AP three because they're plasma and they've overcharged. Very good. I'm dead because I'm not in sign up range for an invul. I've killed something. You killed something, Jordan. Well done. <laughs> hey, you killed the warriors. In my turn. Yeah, but that was because you came at me. To be honest, you probably tripped over. I didn't actually hit you. I, you just tripped and died. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wound Mike. <laughs> okay, so, oh, hazardous. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, we were like, oh, talk, these guys talk to the dice. Talk to the dice. <laughs> Listen, guys, I know we haven't got a great relationship, but just don't die. Wow. Oh, my. The, you um, suck. You, so, you sounded a bit too sarcastic. Yeah. It, it, yeah, true. Right, I don't have a clue who these chapters are, Mike. You've made these up. <laughs> that guy's sure. dead. Which one was that? He's the yellow one. The Marauders, yeah. The, the one the that Marauders. was closest to enemy deployment and that quarter to reduce your movement. You took out, yeah, cool. <laughs> Tactics. Um, so, <laughs> cool, done, 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 done. Have you done a hazardous test? Yes, he, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's how that's my how guy died. died yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, Redeemer. Okay, time Can to redeem it yourself. redeem you? Oh, Michael, Price great minds. Right, <laughs> Melter into Big Mama. Yeah. Um, Redeemer Flame of Cannons into the Termagants. Okay. Assault Cannon into the Termagants. Okay. Does it have any other guns? Uh, as a Storm Bolter. Storm Bolter into the Termagants. Okay. So we'll do good. Storm Bolter first, because that's the creme de la creme. Ah. Right, hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. Threes to wounds. One wounds, yeah. One wounds, five up. Okay, one dead. <clears throat> right, assault cannon. I've got six shots, mate, yeah? Uh, yes, you do indeed. Woo! Terrible. It's average, actually. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <laughs> it was actually above average. That was... Uh, your twin that's, that's three. Your twin links. I am, li I am linked of the twin. Yep. There you go. Uh, th mm. Four more dead. Uh, I guess I get cover. So one of them... We'll live. Uh, AP so. one, right? Uh, there's no AP on an assault cannon. So wow. Need to get better yeah, ammunition. Gone are the days of the... the How many are left? It's kind of crazy, uh, actually. 16. <laughs> oh, okay. Flame storm <laughs> cannons. That's seven plus two each, plus right? Six. So seven. So it's D6 plus three Ooh. on each flame storm cannon. Wow, that's impressive. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, that's <laughs> sorry. impressive. That's impressive. <laughs> Mmm, that's what I like to see. That is all of them. There you go, uh, mate. I do have an invun for my synaptic shielding. Oh, a five up. Oh my lord. Oh my lordy Which, lord. Thankfully, I rolled really well. That's so lovely. that is six more slain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mmm. Um, your melter. That's that's cool. Uh, multi melter. Get in. Five to wound. Yep. Mmm. Uh, cool, that's a redeemer done. Now, Ezekiel yep. is going to mind bullet Big Mama. <laughs> so, mind bullet time. You ready? Uh, yeah, would I you mean, like I've heard some mum jokes in my time, but I'm going to mind bullet your mama. Is, uh, <laughs> 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 that's how we do it at VT. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would, would you like to fire any bolt pistols at the Termigants? No, because I want to make the charge. Are you not charging Big Mama? Well, I've got to take you off the objective, mate. Yeah, okay. All right. For those joining us late... And uh, I've got assassination. You've already scored it. Yeah, exactly. Parasite. So it doesn't matter about me killing bit. Big Mama, really, does okay. it? Okay. Uh, so let me do my mind bullet first. Yeah, you go Because that's that. pretty fun. Yeah. So I'm going to overcharge this. Uh-huh. Oh, it's anti-character 2+. <laughs> yeah. Oh, four plus, sorry. Sorry, I cheat there. Okay, so it's winning on fours. That's pretty good. Hitting on twos. <laughs> right, fours. Yeah. And this has got death wounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> Do I like, CP it? Like to... <laughs> I'm going to CP it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's D6 mortal wounds if I do it. On a four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's <sighs> sad. Bush. <laughs> right. Ezekiel sucks. Right. Oh, charges. Mm-hmm. Cool. Let's multi-charge. Okay. 
Is that enough? <laughs> Uh, so into these both units, yeah, seven is yeah. enough to get into both units, yeah, absolutely. Sweet, 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 sweet. There is a Turvagon in that building, yes, for context. Turvagon here. That is Big Mama. And these you, guys. you know, you failed to mind bullet my mum. I wouldn't do that to your mum. Just Big Mum. Cool, I'm not charging anywhere else. Yep, cool. <sighs> Well, where would you like to begin? <laughs> Ezekiel, you know. Uh, we'll go reroll once to hit. Okay. And I'm going to spend a CP for reroll wound rolls here. Right, because I'm on your vow objective. You are vowed to death, my friend. Uh, we'll, we'll see. So I'm going to put two blade guard into the termagants. Okay. So they're going to get five attacks each because of Ezekiel. Oh, yeah, he's got a fancy book, hasn't he? Yeah. So he I'm, read them a bedtime story. He's reading you a horrific bedtime story you're dead. So I'm hitting you on. <laughs> uh, Please don't quit Vanguard Tactics anytime soon, George. Hitting you on threes. <laughs> yeah. Rerolling ones. Okay. I don't even need the re. I don't even know why. Pretty I told good. You that. Yeah. Pretty cool, good. Cool, cool, Pretty cool, good. Cool. Uh, and then threes. Threes, but rerolling everything. Mm. Yeah, that's why I did the rerolls. Could you just um, knock the dice cam down a little bit as well, anti clockwise? Yeah, yeah, can you actually like, just physically bring it down, it down well. a little bit as well. Down. That, that's up, Mike. <laughs> and now... Towards Jord as well. God, it's, someone's heavy hands <laughs> throwing dice around, getting aggy. Sorry, you see someone said, could you move the dice tray and... Well, we don't want uh, specifics. Anyway, can we carry on rolling <laughs> dice, please? <laughs> oh, right, uh, that's eight five-ups. Eight five-up in runs on Le Termagants. I make one. Seven more so die. seven more termagants are slain. Oh, that leaves three remaining on the objective, of course. Nice. And I'm not going to pile into you in combat, so you're you're not. You're welcome to to stay there, my friend. I would love to. Right. So I'm going to get a load of attacks on a big mama for top down. I'm just going to put them here so that you can see that there's termagants in that building on the objective. Uh, I get twenty yeah, attacks are. into big mama. Like you do. <laughs> Right, 20 attacks going into Big Mama, hitting you on threes. Okay. Reroll ones. Damn, that's a lot of twos. Cool. And then wounding you on sixes. Strength five, right? Uh, yes, but I'm on the vow objective, so plus, plus one. Plus one, so five fives with four rerolls. It's a good start. Why, thank you. I rolled it myself. Oh, that's karma for being smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, there you go, mate. All AP2. All AP2, so four up saves. Uh, I take five. Five damage. Mm. How many you got? Uh, I am 16 total. So I have 16. 11 remaining because I have a relic for minus one damage. That's insane. Busted. Need a massive nerf. Right, Ezekiel, five attacks here. Okay, yeah. He's hitting on twos. Are you chaos? Um, that's up for debate. Because I've got anti chaos two plus. Okay, I'm not chaos then. Damn! Right, okay, right, twos. Cool, sick, nice, I like it. I'm really glad they moved the dice tray. Strength six. <laughs> yeah. Is it, sorry, is it off? <laughs> it's, it's gone straight back to where it was, so. Oh, look at that, perfect. Oh, wow. First time. Stop. Instinct. Stop right now. Mm -hmm. um, fives. Mm -hmm. Fives. Ah. Reroll wounds. Does he have dev wounds or anything on his fancy uh, sword? No, because you're not chaos. AP2. AP2. So fours again. They all fail. Ooh, D3 uh, damage apiece. Okay. Should I just roll all of them? Yeah, you may as well, yeah. Whew. Ezekiel is doing some work here. So those become two each. So that's four. Five damage. Nice. So we've only got six left on Turbigan. Ezekiel's gangster. I like it. This is oh, an oh emotional my. roller coaster with you, George. One minute you love them, one minute you hate them. We're back to <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got a complicated relationship, me and Ezekiel. Uh, right, I'm going to hit you back now. I have Scything Talons. I'm going to go for the sweep, which is eight attacks. Uh, I have more than five wounds remaining, so I'm hitting you on threes. How many you got left? Uh, six. Dang. 
How and many then... is that hexagon got left? Two. Uh, four. It was uh, well worth shooting rather than burning the objective. Mm. Yeah, if you rolled dice good. Uh, so that's four saves at minus one you on your blade guard. rolling dice good. Uh, fours. Yeah, mm -hmm. one. Two damage each, so I'll just kill one. Get out of here. Oh, cool. All right. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. I can't pile in anywhere, can I? No, these guys are literally on the edge of the objective. They're actually on the top of the building. But. Uh, cool. So, <laughs> for my points, I will score five for assassination. Very good. You are assassinated, sir. I am, yeah. Sick. Right, and then, <laughs> then, <laughs> then <laughs> my turn. <laughs> Did you crack on, man? <laughs> um, so, I draw cleanse. Mm. Um, and then I'll do my battle shocks now. Uh, I will bring back D3 plus 3 termagants. So I'll bring back 5 termagants. And then I will battle shock test uh, both units. So the Turbagon is okay. And the termagants are also okay. Because we're in synapse range. Exocrine. Exocrine is in synapse range. Uh, ooh. I believe on a six yeah. that'll fail. Yeah, battle shocked, mate. So Exocrine is battle shocked. How's that feel? I've never battle well, actually I've battle shocked Tyrannus plenty of times because I'm terrifying. Yeah. You are indeed terrifying. Oh, great. So I will begin moving. So before you move, Michael, how many objectives do you currently hold? Uh, oh I, that's a good question, Chris. Good question. Uh, I hold one two, so I get ten points. Um yeah, ten victory points. And you've gone up just to one CP. You've two, CP. two CP. I do have the swarm, Lord. swarm. Excellent. So that leaves us there. One CP for Dark Angels, two CP for Tyranids. I won't tell you the scores yet because, ooh, scores on the doors. <laughs> well, there's lucky there's a little giggly one in the room. Great. Um, <laughs> I guess we're going into the movie phase. You guys said nothing, but. Sorry, I just uh, say we're on to the movie. He did say yeah, I, I, I interrupted him. Slack him, Seb. Slack it's him. Chris, man. Yeah, apparently I'm not uh, very good for keeping people on track in this building. I think uh, you're well. doing amazing. Remember, that's making people giggle or just very confused with uh, my mumblings and mutterings. But how that... I feel that was a little bit... Like, well, I say lacklustre. Uh, Joel came up with the grand idea of obviously doing some burning rather than shooting, and then he was um, sort of pointed in a different direction by Mike, manipulated maybe wrongly, who knows? Yep. Um, yeah. You know, After Michael plays these kind of mind games when you do play games with him. It's, uh, True, I've played him enough times. Although it's difficult for Mike, obviously coaching someone to play the army that they're supposed to be playing, as well as his own army. He, I, 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 we could probably do a stream one day of Mike just playing himself. And he just, <laughs> yeah. you know, maybe he, he hair up, hair down, hair up, hair down. Like for We up. go from this cam of him playing, and then we switch to this camera, it's just Mike on the, yeah, this one as well, just talking to himself. And it's like, so what are you going to do over here? And then just... Yeah, <laughs> then, yeah that's a great Mike, idea. Mike's actually. master classes. <laughs> How to play one player Warhammer 40k. Next um, course coming out. You okay, George? Giggly okay. Ghost is gone. So I think oh. in terms of shots for the Giggly Ghost breakdowns, I, th I think we've done the bottle tonight. <laughs> yep. um, she, she is out there. She's gone. Yeah, she's having a little meltdown. But yeah, regardless, uh, we we spoke about the Norn. Are we ignoring it? Are we um, going to do something about it? By we, we mean Jordan. Uh, and it looked like obviously he ignored it. Um, I was wrong earlier as well. That's not the objective the Norn uh, had decided that he was going to get all of his yeah. buffs on. So he actually chose that left-hand objective where all the Terminator Knights, uh, the Terminators were on. So Mike obviously made that decision to push that Norn elsewhere rather than trying to contest over there. And so... You know he's still he's still controlling that center objective though and putting some pressure on the front. Uh, he's bringing all the monsters round to bear. He's, he's got a land raider cruising up of his on his flank, so no one really wants that uh, kind of damage and toughness coming up there uncontested. So he's going to have to try to do something about that. He's doing well just kind of tinkering and taking wounds off bits here and there. Things are battle shocked, and obviously all these gargoyles are now coming out to swarm um, when he's not breaking them off their bases. <laughs> 
Do gargles hit hard at all? No, but what they can do is they can shoot and move. So they get to uh, make a yes. move after they've shot. Yeah. So he could potentially try and make a play. I'm not sure if there's anything still in that building on that objective, but he could potentially make a play for the objective. Um, yeah. They could shoot and move. Um, are any of those termina t Terminators touching the objective on the uh, left, where those um, gargles are? You're in. Is, yeah. is, is anything in the building next to the Inceptors that we cannot see? No. Nothing. Okay. They are all, basically, I've blocked out this entire objective with my faces from the, fr from the front. So it's just the back. So if he shoots, he's probably going to be able to get a couple on his back. Okay. Okay, so George is muted, but basically what he said... Uh, to be honest, I wasn't even listening. Anyway, well, well done, Sam. So, uh, what, what what you can't see just because the camera angle is on that left hand objective. He has based the front of the objective with his models. So, for anything to make the move, it needs to go the long way round, essentially. So, there is a player that might can try um, to grab that objective, scooting around the outskirts. But George tried to screen out best he could from anything on foot coming forwards. Well done, Seb, for listening. Well, I know, I I know, you know what? I know, I know you're hard concentrating on the buttons because I am currently sat here like a passenger princess, um, just talking to chat every now and again and talking into the uh, microphone. You're doing all the button bashing tonight. We're going to have to have a tra uh, training session at some point, aren't we? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> uh, well, to make me useful. Oh, to right, you, Seb. okay. <laughs> God, this is going to be a long drive home with you tonight, isn't it? <laughs> um, the mission is... Uh, it's mission one. Mission uh, one of the UK, well, essentially UKTC, UKTC yeah. which is, and I will read it in a second for you. It is taking hold, chilling rain with search and destroy. So you're yeah. burning secondary objectives at the end of the game for each uh, for an objective that you burn, you gain additional points, and if you burn your opponent's home objective, then you gain a bigger boost. Um, essentially, what happens on that one? I do believe. Uh, currently, there are no objectives that have been burnt. Uh, George decided to do some shooting rather than doing that. Um, hold oh. three objectives. Mike's done already. Mike's not done. He <laughs> looks very under. Sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> so I looked at the Norn and then I was like, oh, yeah, the Norn could do this. Um, yeah, uh, so what I've done is the gargoyles exactly as uh, was um, the... Uh, worked out by the guys on stream, uh, on the stream deck. Yep. Uh, they are planning to shoot and then move six inches. Mm -hmm. I only need three because uh, they're OC2 each to take the objective from Jordan. Um, yeah. And then the X screen stays still. The big boy in the middle needs to stay still because I need to hold the objective uh, in order to cleanse with the Neuralictor. Mm -hmm. Over here, the seven. Eight termagants will cleanse on this objective because they're not in engagement range. Um, and I control the objective currently because I have both the Malaceptor and uh, the, the Turbigon on there as well. The Swarm Lords come over to try and back these guys up if I make the charge. I've brought on three Zoanthropes to try and shoot the Land Raider. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and that is my movement phase. Let's do some shooting. Let's do it, mate. Where do you want to start? Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I will use my stratagem, mm -hmm. uh, and I will pick the Zoanthropes okay. to reroll ones to hit and wound against the Land Raider. The Land Raider. So that will take me down to one command point. Nice. The Zoanthropes okay. are in the top right on top down. Uh, right, um, yeah. If you can't see them. It, is this easier here? Is that, can you see them now? You've got a cute little brain there. Some brains? Yeah, that's fine. Where they are. That's fine. Uh, right. Three shots. Hit on threes, re on ones. Hitting on threes, re rolling ones. Okay, they do all hit. Strength 12, I believe, uh, mate. They are strength 12. Did you want to do any defensive stratagems? Um, you got one CP? Yeah, and your AP3? AP3, you do have cover, because I couldn't quite get the right angle. So I could get a three plus save here. You um, could, if you so desired. I will armor contempt. Ooh. Okay. Fair enough. Done that um, in the wrong step. I should have done that preemptively. Um, I just wasn't thinking. That's okay. We know. Yeah. Uh, half, forced half a wound, just the one wound. Cool. AP3. It's a three up save. Save down. Excellent. Well, at least I wasted your CP. The Maliceptor will shoot at the Terminators in front of it. Ooh. I'm only shooting 10, so um, I'm better off going into the Terminators, I think. So D6 plus three. It's two plus three. Plus one for blast. Threes to hit you. Shrink 10, so twos to wound. 
So you have four, three saves AP. at minus two. So I could take it on the two guys in cover, right? You absolutely will. So yeah. I will do that. So I'll be on three up saves here. Yeah. So one dies. Cool. And then the third save is all good. So the one dies in, in the back. Okay, very nice. Uh, the Swarm Lord has an 18 inch range psychic flamer, which is in range of the Terminators. Mm -hmm. So I'll fire that at them as well. D6 plus three, it's nine. Uh, and then we're hitting on automatically. <laughs> Strength <laughs> fives. Hitting on automatically. Hitting on automatically that. is torrent. I Two wounds. Didn't know that was Mr. Jordan. AP? AP one. Okay, I'll take it on the guy in cover. And What's the damage? Two. All right. Love cool. it. Cool. Well, that was um, worthwhile oh, endeavor, wasn't it? Uh, brr, this the road sucks, by the way. Whoever, do, whoever invented or actually started building the infrastructure of this planet, yeah. where were they going with this road? Well, it was going to go across there. It's a diagonal one. Uh, I just think it's was probably a roundabout. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, they have got the objective. That is the roundabout. Yeah, sure. Why we're around distracted? Around yeah, I have got a super chat from Tattoo Tabletop who Legend. shared a selfie with Jake um, on it's Instagram. Awesome. So mm. I'm not going to. I don't know his actual name, but if James, you want to check James. out his face, uh, James. There we go. <coughs> so it hurts to say it, but it appears the Dark Angels have fallen. Well, still going to keep my positive cap on and figure out something. You lads were missed at LVO. No. Yeah, no. I, I missed you too, bro. I missed you too. Yeah. Also, check out to? his YouTube channel. He's he's an absolute legend, absolute legend. Tattoo tabletop. Nice Just little plug club. there. Nice little shout out. Back yep. to Vanguard Tactics. Rolling yep. dice. <laughs> <laughs> um, Norn. It's Norn time. I thought you were just calling it's me Norn time. Right. <laughs> it's, it's high Norn. Just roll dice, Mike. <laughs> so, uh, Neuralance, two shots into the Terminators right in front of me. The Knights. Uh, that's two hits. Strength twelve. That is two wounds. Four a pinball? Uh, yep. Do I need to do these one at a time or not? Um, no. I make them both. Excellent. Good chat. Uh, Good then man. this Exocrine will... I don't really want to shoot the old blasters because you'll shoot me back. Um, <laughs> I will fire at the Terminators on the objective. I don't know why I just lock and loaded with some plasmas. It's not like you... Um... Well, maybe they do. Oh, that was good. <clears throat> Interesting. So Are you that's bracketed now. Not I am indeed. So that's nine shots plus one for blast against those terminators with the librarian on that mm. objective. Would you like to do anything? Oh, you've spent your CP. Okay, take that to know then. Um, wow. <laughs> so hitting on threes. Brutal. I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am hitting on threes because I am bracketed. Do you know what? That's what you get for your brutality. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I'm only strength eight. Some saves for you. Uh, it is AP3. Oh, I don't even care, mate. I'm on fours. Yeah. I do care. Oh, you, um, do, oh, you really oh, care. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's what I get. Uh, <laughs> Say no more. Goodbye, my Terminators. <laughs> the Watcher's alive, though. Anyway, they're always alive. Oh, that's good. You, you've not done anything crazy with coherency again this time, have you? No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, the Gargoyles. Gargs. Uh, shoot the Terminators. So do they now get a benefit of shooting the X uh, the X it, It's something with ones, isn't it? Thanks for remembering, Chris. Good job. How oh, did yeah. you remember that but didn't remember you had to uh, Reroll some ones to hit. <laughs> because I've been badly touched by Tyranids twice now, once by Kobe and uh, once by uh, Guy called Peter, I think it was, over the weekend. So yeah. there's four saves for you. Imagine if I, another Terminator dies. I, I tried. Not quite, not quite. Uh, and then I'll just move on to the objective. Good job, lads. That's such a strong ability. I Shooting hate after, X moving after you shoot. with a passion. Yeah. They're just ugly. You can't just hate on ugly people. Well, he's not a person, is he? <laughs> Only a face Big Mama could love. No one loves Big nice. Mama either. Especially not Ezekiel. Savage. <laughs> um, I'm going to charge now. Are you? Where's yes. the charge? The normal charge determinant is in the middle. Whoa. There. And then... Just sitting on top of me. <laughs> well, I mean... That... <laughs> Concent concentrate, <laughs> Michael. Stay on target. <laughs> Don't get distracted. The... Uh... Swarm Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Where's he even going? No, okay, Into these, these play cards. I okay, talked cool. about it earlier. Oh, did you? Okay. Um, that's all the charges. Thank God. Uh, I guess the Malice Scepter could charge, uh, but I want to keep it on the objective for the OC. So I will not. I will go for the Land Raider. Yeah. The, the, the Malice Scepter will charge the Land Raider uh, on a seven. Uh, that will just about. No, I'll have to pivot. So unfortunately, a seven's just out because I'll have to go. Um, essentially all the way there, then across, mm. which is not going to, because I need to clear the base. That's how you move big things. <laughs> um, okay. Where to fight first? Take your pick. Uh, before uh, you do that, uh, Kobe's just said that your gargs move six. I don't, he said to move them. I don't know if that's important at all. Yeah, Shoot. they move six. I've moved enough to take the objective, uh, okay, so cool. I'm not fussed about it moving any further. Sorry to interrupt. Um, but good point. Terrible. Um, right. Swarm Lord time. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, it's my problem. Uh, would you like to reroll ones on your saves with your blade guard rules? I would love to, sir. Okay. I have eight attacks. Check I'm you hitting up. you on are two. Are these psychic? These are not psychic, Dang. I'm afraid. Uh, and then I'm strength nine, so wounding you on twos. Twin linked. There you go. That many. AP two, flat three damage. Fours. Three die. Reroll the one. Oh yeah. Three die. Three die. Okay. So I want you to die, sir. You to die, sir. And you to die. Ooh. That was very British of you. <laughs> Norn time. Norn time. I will armor consent for free. It's high noon. High Norn. I said high, it you said the joke last turn and it wasn't funny. No, it's not funny. <laughs> um, six attacks. You've stolen all the dice again. Yeah, there's tactics. This guy is terrible. There you go, there's your dice roll. Uh, twos to hit you. To eat me? To hit you. Oh. And then threes to wound you. Okay, that was not great. AP? Uh, AP two. Down to one. Yep. Three on attempt. Three up. Damn! Ooh, well, it's damage three. Oh, this guy sucks. He's dead. Yes! Overwhelming force. Uh, and then four more attacks. Hitting on two, strength seven, winning on two, oh my god. Uh, one save please, uh, AP two. Cool, Loves you're it. fine. Mr. Captain is gonna stand there and tank an entire Norn Emissary. I like it. Well, Death his, his mate just died. <laughs> 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 so like, he just took it all. Yeah, he just stood in the way. He just went, oi, <laughs> yeah. get in there. I, th I thought it was like a heroic sacrifice thing. No, no, you just clearly. <laughs> just <laughs> booted him in the booted way. Booted him in the way. <laughs> Uh, I'll attack with a Z kills unit. Okay. And it's good. all going into Big Mama. Okay. That's so not very nice. I've got 10 attacks from my two blade guards. Yeah. Hitting on threes. No re rolls here, though. Mm hmm. But wounding you on fives. Yes. Terrible. Terrible. Anyways, uh, I think Did I've got five. Pro probably should have saved the CP for re roll wounds again, right? In hindsight. Yeah. In, in hindsight, I wasn't expecting you to not wound me that many times. With this, that made no sense. Um, <laughs> I was expecting you to hurt me a lot more with the zone throats. Fair enough. Where is Ezekiel? I know where he is on the board. I meant... He's right here. Thanks, Mike. Uh, five attacks. Hitting on twos. All hit. Anti-chaos two plus. No, it's, um, it's going to be fives. There we go. Go on, big man. Uh, what's his strength again? He's strength six. Okay, so it's fives, yeah. From toughness 12, AP minus two. two. I save one. D3 damage? Yeah. One damage. I've got five remaining. It's time to get revenge with the Turvagon. We've got eight attack. I'm going to do the big attacks. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, eight attacks with the sweep. Uh, I am below my uh, damage profile, so mm. minus one to hit. And then strength seven. Take that, you foul traitor. Reroll ones. Oh, I tried to trick shot it. It's but... just two damage. Okay, all right, so I'm down to one wound. I'm yep. Fred. I'm Fred. Fred the Dark Angel. Fred L with the apostrophe. Fred L. Fred L. Fred L. Dark Fred. Angel. L. Fred. L. Fredo. Okay, we need to stop okay. this. Right, yep. Let's carry on. <laughs> uh, your captain into the Norn. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. Six attacks. Six attacks? Or five? Yeah, six, six attacks. attacks. Hit on twos. Good man. Beast. Uh, sixes. Uh, toughness 12, right? Toughness 12, yeah. <laughs> Go on, mate. Go on. Mm, 
like Easy. terrible. He Easy money. Sucks. Oh, the watch has gone now. Right, maybe, right. maybe just Three. put the watcher out somewhere just for you know display there you go. purposes. Now you can put only. your camera shot onto the watcher. <laughs> He's too small. Closer. Where is he? <laughs> uh, cool. That concludes my turn. I will get just three for overrun force. Only, I think I only killed one unit. Yep, you only killed one unit. I'm tracking. And then cleanse for five. Yep. And I will get three for defend at the end of my turn. You do turn. indeed, George. Good Ooh. work. That was a tough one. Getting that defend. It was. It was. A, it was the hardest secondary I've ever had to achieve in my life. Oh, tough times. Right. My turn. Your turn. Turn three. Secondaries. We've got secure no man's land and bring it down. I've got plenty of options here. Plenty yeah. of options. Yeah, you do. Uh, Val target is definitely here. Okay. Um, can we get the little token? Yeah. Sorry, token. can you just uh, repeat your missions there, George? Uh, secure no man's land. Yep. And bring it down. Thank you. Very kind. There's also a token by the Exocrine. I don't know if that's... This is the Oath. Okay. Is that changing? Um, yes. Yes, Do you yes, want to think yes. about it? Yeah, I'll have a think about it. Okay. And so we'll come back. You can tell us in the We'll go to top down. So just before we start, two CP each. That's yes. correct. Yeah, you've gone up two. And how many ejectors do you hold, George? Um, one. One. Thank you very much. Five points. Yeah. And now for a word from our sponsor, C Studios. They are the experts in providing professional miniature painting services, ensuring your armies always look their best on the battlefield. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or just starting out, C Studios can help bring your miniatures to life. Don't miss out on their quality craftsmanship. Right, well. So I'm going to apologise, first of all, to chat. You're about to see the score jump. And that's purely because I missed one of George's primary on the previous turn. So a big five points. Um, well, obviously it, not going to say it out loud because I don't want any of these two guys to know the actual score right now. But just that's why that's happened in case you're wondering in chat. You good? Oh. Did, oh, right. Okay. I thought... Um, Sorry, yeah, chat. You're wondering what's going on. The giggly ghost needs to get past the cameras. Yeah. Yeah. And Seb's having a mental breakdown about the situation. Brain not working. The tism is strong. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So how do you uh, think that went, Seb, in your, you know, <clears throat> very exclusive opinion? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I think we're starting to see Chord get swarmed, really. Um, everything that came from Mike's back line um, is just like reinforcing onto the flanks where Jord wants to be because of that Norn. And um, yeah, I don't think we saw as much impact as I was expecting. But what matters is that the uh, battles, the little battles on those flanks have started and people are getting tied down. Units are getting tied down in their places. And, you know, it's whether we see what we see come from this in the next couple of turns. Uh, this will really define the uh, game, I think. There's a... Uh, Round three. Top of round three. I think I've changed the word. I think, yeah. yep, I think one of the biggest issues here tonight, and I mean, chat's pointed out as well, is George's dice roll have been very inconsistent. There's averages, and then he is doing below average, I feel, for a lot. Yeah. Um, Not great for a new codex. No, exactly. And we're trying, you know, I'm trying to showcase as fairly as we can, a, you know, a new codex versus a, a slightly more aged one now, I suppose, if you like. George's gone into tearing it a few times. Kobe, his brother, is a... You know, an avid Tyranid player. So it's not like George doesn't know what to do against the Tyranids. It's just I feel some of this isn't going his way. Um, no, certainly not. Um, I've seen a lot of discussion in chat about um, Dark Angels and how they think um, maybe it's actually a nerf from the Index. Uh, I'm actually curious uh, what you guys would have proposed instead for the Codex. Um, what about you, Chris? What do you think you would have liked to have seen? I didn't want to see him get any stronger, that's for sure, <laughs> as you know, someone that plays him um, going into it. You know, it's it's, t it's a tough one because I genuinely don't know Dark Angels inside and out, but yeah. from uh, what I know is discussions of you know within the circles, are inner circles, uh, is people feel that some of the things have just, you know, have gone up in points, but they have gone down in stats, and it should have been one or the other. Yeah, you totally. know, If you're going to go up in points, then keep the stats the same and make them better. If you can go down in points, then, you know, if you do lose some stats, then it, it goes together. It goes hand in hand and it's part and parcel. Of the, you know, you can get more models, but they're going to be not as good, which, yeah. is, which is arguably fine in, you know, little, little brackets. But 
if people aren't going to enjoy the army, then obviously potentially GW will need to review that at some point in the future. Um, getting back in, you know, and this is the perks of the 10th edition now, where they're doing the uh, dropping down space slate data slates rather uh, periodically and whatnot that they can review the game see what's going on and then give people the boost that they need or want um, as, as things progress and stats come out from people actually playing them but equally if nobody plays them uh, once you know once the codex is released and whatnot and getting them into events then there's no data to go off yeah, and true. you know the the stats are skewed if there's only 100 people playing and 100 people don't do very well you or, if, on the other hand, uh, if those people are the diehard Dark Angel fans who've been playing them all this time, and they know the Codex so well that they actually do well with them, then, yeah, it does get a bit... Uh, it can, yeah, it can go in and out, and, again, it'll be interesting to see how that one pounds out. And, and, and you know, we've seen it kind of with Admech to a degree. Um, I personally had a look at how many Admech lists there were over the weekend, and there really wasn't that many. And so you kind of think then the Admech results are potentially skewed a little bit. You know, Admech are kind of underperforming, but I've been looking through the codex because I have got a big Admech pile of shame that I'm trying to sort <laughs> out. Yeah. And I think there is play in the shenanigans, but I think it's a high skill set and maybe not everyone has that straight away and it takes the reps. And as I, as everyone knows, I say everyone, quite a few people in chat knows, you know, I've now ran Orcs 10 times. I've lost probably 60% of them games and I throw my toys out of the pram, but <laughs> I... Understand if that. I'm being realistic with myself, 10 reps is not enough yeah. to make a decision on an army and a detachment. And okay. I think that's what's going to have to happen with the Dark Angels. You know, There are frustrations from the community, but you know, it is what it is. They were written when they were written. And you, know, you can do something with them. And ultimately, if you can't, take them as a different detachment. Yeah, fair. I mean, um, it's, it'll be interesting to see what detachments from the Space Room Codex we see Dark Angel players take. Uh, whether it's Gladius, uh, I know that's quite a strong one. Uh, I know Iron Storm is quite uh, prevalent Iron Storm as well, is not very nice yeah, at the yeah. moment. What do you think um, you would take with a, a detachment of I'd Dark be, I, you know, they, they are based around Terminators. Drops of Vanguard, you know, yeah. get, them, get them floating up the board, infiltrating in, whatever, whatever you can do with the... Uh, the little shena- movement shenanigans. I remember mm. quite a terrifying idea was the um, there's that enhancement for blade driven deep. I think it's called uh, for the infiltrate. Uh, you can like you could drop some deathwing knights potentially. I think before. Yeah. Um, I suppose that's not uh, so popular now. Oh, uh, we had a super chat. Yeah, and I missed it because we were getting caught up in a moment. Yeah. And <laughs> luckily, it's not for either the two people playing. It's for the giggly one in the corner. Dave Cormel, uh, also known as the Infantry Lawyer, I do believe. Oh, right. I think that's that one. I'm I not going to I apologise, Dave, if it's not. However, look at those amazing Dark Angel models. Shout out to Billy for a great painting. She said, I didn't paint them, Chris painted them. <laughs> God, these look great, Chris. <laughs> I know. It's, it's like a mouth move without her actually saying it. No, she said, thank you very much. And she has done a great job. You know, it's probably, you know good that these models are now starting to come through at decent high quality as well you know they're not just getting quickly bashed out for streams it's nice that someone is dedicating their time love and attention into making some of these new very aesthetically pleasing models pretty i'm only saying nice things because she's in the room if she wasn't then i probably wouldn't be so nice um so we've got some comments come in. Yeah, James Hobbs is all over this Dark Angels. I feel I feel he's a bit salty about the codex coming out. Maybe he's one of these <laughs> people that need to get some reps in. And I can't say the words I was about to say. I'll, I'll send it in the WhatsApp group later, James. But stop being a little bee. Um, Talon Master and ATV. That would be cool. It looks like they're done. So we'll head over to the table. Awesome. So a lot of discussions. Mm. Um, it was. It's been a bit of a back and forth. I would say, so far these few t- first few turns. Yeah. I've lost a lot of Terminators. But what we've done here is Ezekiel and the Blade Guard have actually fallen back into the Lamb Raider. Yeah, they passed the Battle Shock. Passed the Battle Shock. The only ones that have failed the Battle Shock, again, Azrael. First chapter master. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so <laughs> he's failed his Battle Shock. So I was going to actually grenade the Maliceptor, but too scared to pull the grenades out now. Um, we've got the Terminators have moved out. The Oath target is actually the Maliceptor, and the Val objective is the same as last turn, so this flank objective here. Uh, the Captain has fallen back, but still attempting to move plot this Norn. The Infiltrators have just tucked in a little bit, just in case you did kill 
potentially in coming round. So just try and make this as secure as possible. Over here, I haven't really moved much because these two units hopefully will go into them gargoyles and absolutely murder them. Uh, and then the last thing is Belial's down now. So Belial is actually back, he's an, on your back lines, nine inches away from the Exocrine, and we are going to attempt that nine inch charge. Yeah. Which I am famed for doing. Indeed. Uh, cool. Yes. So shooting phase. Let's start off over here with the plasma receptors. Okay. So we've got four shots here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to overcharge. So hitting on threes. Two missed. Okay. Strength seven, so twos. Mm -hmm. That's two, AP two. Two dead. Right, the Terminators. The Cyclone missile launch is actually going to go into the Exocrine. Recommendation. Okay. Fire this Cyclone missile launcher first. Okay. Because you could do with the blast potentially helping by thinning out the gargoyles. Mm. All right, sure. We'll go with that then. So we'll do the missile launcher here going into the Exocrine. And the storm bolt shots, may as well just try and see if I can whittle down this Maliceptor here because mm -hmm. he's got lone operative, right? He's got lone operative, so that Neuralictor. So we'll do all the little shots here and the Cyclone over there. Did you want to, because um, I could see why you might want to put the Cyclone in here because you've got plus one the wound, right? Yeah. Yeah, is it, I guess you could probably just fire these here first and then you'll see if maybe you need a bit of extra damage. No, I, I think it's... Do these have any other target? The, the Exocrine. I suppose, yeah. So I think it's just worth doing these and okay. just seeing if I can get rid of him. Okay, cool. Um, cool. So we'll do that now. So the missile launcher, uh, one hit. Strength, I'm going to need fives, right? Mm -hmm. Strength 10? Tough, strength Toughness, eight, sorry. Uh, 10. Toughness 10. Strength okay. 8. So uh, fives. Or strength 9, one of two. No. No, nothing. Okay. Cool. Storm bolters. So I get four storm bolters coming into you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hitting you on twos here because this is the oath target. Draw. They are within six of a Maliceptor, but Deathwing Terminators ignore modifiers to hit rolls. Yep. So they are ignoring my minus one hit aura. Yep. Six is to wound. Uh, two wounds, mate. Uh, with a plus one, fives. Oh yeah, five, sorry. So that's three. Three ups, fell one. Cool. So the journey starts. The journey starts. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? So Azriel's unit. He's got 13 left. Um, no, Azriel's unit is all going to shoot into the Maliceptor. Okay, yeah, that so does make sense. Yeah. The two um, Hellblasters, I will overcharge because I need that damage too. Uh, re rolling hits. So that is two sustained. Very nice. And then it would be fives down to fours. Yep. Uh, that's four wounds, mate, on your impulse. Okay, four up in burn. Cool, two, damage. two damage. Uh, then Azriel shooting. He has rapid fire, if I'm not mistaken. You are not mistaken. He's at three shots. I am learning. Three, three shots first. here. Cool. So, hitting up twos. May as well try fish for them sixes. That's what you get for trying to fish. <laughs> um, and then it will be fours again. Absolutely nothing. Oof. Uh, the, see if they die. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Let's see if he does, shoots on death. He does. Right, cool. So it's going to be the White Scar. Uh, he is closer to the Maliceptor for the charge. I do not care. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Reroll hits. Cool. And then... Fours. Fours. See, that's why the White Scar died, because he sucks. Right. Um, done. Can't shoot. Done. Lamb Raider. Cool. Before you do that... Clayton Sanford, $10 super chat. Thank you very much. Thank to you. all the people, all of them, because there has been a lot of them, complaining about the nerfs to the lion. Elusia Primarch is still alive. Sangronius died defending the Emperor while the Dark Angels were trying to kill each other. Does that... It's okay, George. Hashtag triggered. <laughs> You're hearing this for the first time? What? I'm so confused. Look, Clayton, I'm going to give you one chance. Just one chance, mate, okay, to take that back. <laughs> Take that evil back. Okay, right. Let me shoot a Lamb Raider. I yeah. appreciate the super chat though. Where are all the uh, shots going? <laughs> so, uh, heavy flamers, or whatever they're called, the big fire shooters, 
are going into <laughs> the Telegans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Molly Melter into Big Mama. Yep. And the Salt Cannon. Mama? Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Salt Cannon into Big Mama. Okay. So, <laughs> the famous. Yay. 12 shots. Uh, I have no save here no, you against don't. these flamers. You two are... cover. This is what we call a termagant creme brulee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're dead. They, they are certainly creme brulee. Mm, crispy termagant. It's a delicacy. Yeah, on mm. bar. They must have plenty of them. We are plenty to go. Stocks are not falling. <laughs> and it is a rare treat, my friend. If you ever visit bar, I suggest you have some. Uh, Malt melter. Along with the entire, entire chapter of Flesh Terrors. <clears throat> Do you know what? You deserve to die for that. <laughs> die say otherwise. Okay, cool. so that was the multi motor. That uh, was Assault Cannon though. This is what kills Big Mama. Apart from all the misses. Um, sixes. We're twin linked. Woohoo! Oh, it's two, two dev, dev wounds. wounds. Three wounds remaining on Mama. Mm. Mama! Mama. What's the strength of Lam Raider? Uh, eight. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like where you're going with this. <laughs> Terminate. <laughs> Sorry. They're cool. They got me. Um, everything, the missile launcher going into the Exocrine because oh, he needs to die. Um, and then the, the Storm Bolt shots and the Smites into the Gargoyles. Okay. Do so, not forget, George, you do have Bring It Down. I do, mate. And I'm going to kill something, trust me. Okay. Just, just you watch. Yeah. watch we all know how split yeah, fire he, goes. He doesn't need to put the smite into this guy because it's actually more important to take the objective for secure mm. no man's land. Um, I actually would argue in favour of putting a cyclone into the gargoyles. Ooh. Well, because you, you could try to manipulate me a few times in this I have. Battle. You're right. Uh, the old hive mind. Mr. Hive is. Mind over here. I say no. Very well. And I shoot the missiles into where I want. Sure, go on then. <laughs> I've hit twice. Uh, three times. Because you've sustained. Ooh, cheeky. Oh, cool. for... Look, I told you. You keep doing it. They are fake missiles, I swear. What, what are you loading up into these missiles, Mike? <laughs> Don't ask me that question, it's a secret. <laughs> cool. These dark angels and their secrets, eh? Right, Stormbolters. These guys suck. So right. we did have a combi weapon on the, the guy, but it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, it's fine. it's fine. Don't worry about it. I, I'll I'll drop did you roll any sixes? No, I'll drop four because I would have. Just okay. roll it again. So four from the terminator. Okay, so that's five. Did hits. you bring the dice tray back down, George, with your aggressive rolling? Sorry, I have yeah. so F much physically needs to come down. So please. much rage inside me after that super chat. Yeah. Well, you'll Clayton. be pleased to know Clayton has given another five dollar super chat. I never said he couldn't come back, George. Go on, read it to me. No, no, that was it. I never said he couldn't come back, George. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you that's, said that about No, no, no. That's why I said it in a tone. Oh, right. Okay. Well, he's alive in spirit and in the warp. Definitely not alive. No, he is alive, Seb. Sebastian. Games Workshop alive. sales say he's alive. Yeah. Oh, true. <laughs> I say he's alive. Okay. If orcs can believe what they want, I believe what I want and he's alive. In my heart. Cool. Um, freeze. Oh, my lordy lord. Uh, two wounds, mate. Two wounds. Uh, two dead. Six up save on them gargoyles. The goggles? On them gargoyles. Oh, I thought you said goggles. <laughs> Smite! Six Very shots, good. baby. Doesn't have blast. <laughs> Imagine if Smite had blast. Uh, cool, so I dropped two. Mm -hmm. Twos. Twos. Twos for cooked gargoyles. Four dead. I think you might be able to kill this unit. I could have killed him without shooting them, mate. I just wanted yeah. to do it just for extra security. You and gotta make for sure. my new empire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, charges. Yeah. Um, Belial. It's, this is the most important one of so, my. This is Belial. He's doing a nine into the, this Can thing. Can you point where Belial is again? He's right here. I can't. In this oh, building. There he is. Well, he was nine inches away. Yeah, well, now he's 15. I can make a 15. Yes, oh! yes you can. <laughs> <laughs> There's the bad boy. I have just channeled the Go spirit on, of Sanguinius. Right, I'm cool. actually um, quite concerned. You should be. Because I have to hit you back and you have a more wound thing. So right. we'll, we'll see how Redeemer that goes. Redeemer into Big Mama. All right, go on then. And I'm going to tank shot. I know. 
Yes. <laughs> so, uh, cool. So you should be able to make it so you're still on the objective. Yeah, a side skirt. Like, yeah, nice. Eight dice, yeah? Uh, eight dice, yeah. No extras because I am tougher than you. Oh, just get three fives and sixes. Hey, you did it! Good job, Jordan. The Land Raider runs over the Termagon. Do I explode? A Termagon? I'm... That was so... Do I explode? No. It was so anticlimactic. Good job. That was impressive. Thanks, man. Yeah. I was driving it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> right, uh, no, Azrael. Next. Okay, I am within seven. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Blood Angel! <laughs> if the Blood Angel's striking last after everything else is hit. Yeah. Just so I can get the kill with the Blood Angel. Sure. And then the Terminators. You want to use all of the eight to get on the objective? I think it's your objective anyway now. And the is Watcher. It? The Watcher gets uh, into course. combat too. Of course. Um, I'll Terminators into Gargoyles. I will be heroically intervening, but I'll let you carry on. Will you? Yeah. Not if I battle shock you. <laughs> Uh, cool. Where do you want to heroic intervene? So the Swarm Lord will heroically intervene to the Land Raider. I know technically it's done... So would he... But actually it's done after the Turbogon died, right? Is it? Yes, yeah, you complete the charge move, do the tank shock, then you finish the charge move, then I intervene. Can you heroic intervene if there's no combat there? Well, I just had, I just had to be within six inches of a unit that's charged. Oh, okay. Which I am. Okay. Cheeky. Thankfully I'm within six inches, so that makes it in. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Hello, mate. How you doing? Hello. <laughs> Don't know why he's got. A you killed my ma. Right, uh, hello, governor. All right, cool. Uh, where do I want to hit first? Terminators. Yeah, terminators. Terminators. All right. Terminatores. Uh, any CP you want to spend? Uh, yeah. So my last bit of CP will be going on reroll wound rolls here. Okay. Did, did you have two? What did you, oh, tank shot. Spend one tank shot. Yeah. yeah. How much so, CP are you on, Mike? Um, none, because cool. I spent two on Heroic Intervention. Yeah. Okay. This so time. we've got four power fists here. Mm -hmm. I go on Mike, too. Oh, okay. Hit me on twos. Yep. Reroll and all misses. Okay, again, ignoring my modifiers. Drop the one. Strength eight. Yeah. With plus one to wound. So fours. Fours. Reroll in all wounds. Okay, they need it. That's not bad. Cool. Like it. Uh, AP2, yeah? Yes. Four ups. Four up in burn. Good job, Malice wow. Four damage taken, seven remaining. It's going to be down to. Dant. Dant. <laughs> <laughs> Dant needs to smack him with his um, club. Yeah, so typical Blood Angel. Yeah. Smack you with my club. Right, so, Azrael. Yes. There's got six attacks. He's a bit beasty, isn't he? He's also got sustain because he's still leading one blood angel. <laughs> my, my G. Right, so I'm hitting you on twos. Okay. Reroll misses. Would you like to fish? I would love to fish right now. What am I, I going to catch? Oh. Magic up. Right. Uh, right. An extra hit. Strength six. So wounding you, you're not toughness 12, are you? I am toughness 11. We didn't even want fours, but I've got dev wounds. Very nice. Damn! <laughs> you look like magic car power of water now. <laughs> that was a Gyarados, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's up to the Blood Angel. Right, three Yeah, I sure you, well, I mean, I've only got seven wounds left, so. Do you know what's hilarious, though? I wound you on fives with punches. That is actually quite silly. Ooh, one punch. <laughs> no! Oh, he's the Blood Angel. <laughs> he's so powerful. Go on, Dant. Right. This guy. Mm -hmm. This guy? Oh, okay. Um, I know, I did forget the minus one to hit, but it didn't impact the combat at all. Okay, before someone points it out. I did forget the minus oh. one to hit from the Maliceptor. You're also actually minus one to wound. Am I? Um, yes, because you're below half strength. And I'm a Maliceptor. Oh, so you're just ignoring my plus one. So get your yeah. wound back for dance. Uh, yeah, probably. Probably. Um, yeah, because it was a five to wound, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Unlucky Dan. Sorry, Dan. You did me proud, bro. Cool, so Belial, he's got six attacks, hitting you on twos. I've got precision here, so I'll, pre I'll precise him. Yeah, sure. You are um, precise. 
I am a precise dude. Cool, so strength six. Okay, toughness ten. Uh, two wounds, mate. Shot. Two wounds. AP two, shot. damage two. Uh, they both go through. Oh. I am dead. Well done, Seb. Didn't even need my hits. Belial just killed Trashing the Exocrine. The do I blow up? I do not. Uh, well, Belial. Barely, that impressive. Barely, barely. I'm not just shouting belly on. I meant Belial. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Right, Terminator. Going into yes. the... Um, I'm going to save you a bit of time. I'm just going to take them off. Okay. Because there's only two gargoyles. My time and is precious. I, yeah, time is precious. No, my time is precious. This time is precious. Um, I get to you now. Dark Angels, yeah. Right, uh, we'll do the Swarm Lord oh, into the Land Raider. Eight attacks. Wait, who hits first here? Um, it's your turns, I'd hit first. We well, already. I charged. You charged, so you have fight first. You'd hit me first. Mm. I'm not going to kill you, but. Eight attacks, right? The big so, yep. handbrake right. turn. Uh, was it six? I think it's six attacks. I'll oh, strength eight, that's why. That's it, yeah. Two? Okay. Too much on the, the swerve. Not yeah. enough clutch control. But he's, he, that, that clutch came in handy. Yep, sure did. That's yep. impressive driving. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they do all hit. Uh, strength nine, so fives. Twin linked. Oh. Oh, never mind. I did a draw. That's no, two wounds well, well. minus two. Whoa! I need to assault my dice roll in. Four ups. Oh, no. <laughs> he says that's six well, damage. Um, <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Have, have them dice back. They thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, the Maliceptor. Who uh, do we'll, you want to hit? I will hit Azriel's unit. You. Azriel die first. Sure. Um, I will sweep. Uh, I have enough wounds to not be what, you're damaged. Cleaning up? <laughs> yeah, I'm cleaning up now. <laughs> you gotta clean up that Blood Angel. That was a good joke. Right, cool. <laughs> Strength seven. Yeah. Two wounds. Uh, AP one, two damage. Oh, four. Come on, come on, bro. come on. Dan, what are you doing? Uh, Azrael's dead. So, the thing is that would save Azrael. So on a four up, Azrael doesn't take damage, if that makes sense, because mm. he's a two up save. Mm. So if you want, I'll, I'll roll the dice. So on a four up, as he takes no damage. As he's fine. So you roll the three you first. You roll my dice. You're on the one on. first and then the three. Mm. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, cool. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, well. I just need a little actually. bit of help here, please. Bring it down. A lot. What have we killed, monster-wise, um, with all the wounds? Turbogon and Exocrine. Turbogon and Exocrine. It's probably going to be the full eight. How, how many wounds are there, piece? Uh, so it's 16 on the Turbogon. Yep. And then 14 on the Exocrine. Okay, that's seven points up to... Nice, yeah, good just, work. Just and then the one there. five on Secure No Man's Land. And a big five. Mm. Good turn. Big turn, big turn, good George. Good turn. Someone's asked if the Swarm Lord would get fight first from Kuroko Intervention. But no. Sadly not, because you do not get the charge bonus. Yeah. Uh, and the charge bonus is fights first. Mm -hmm. But you would get any other charge bonuses you had, because they're not technically charge bonuses. Yeah. Uh, right, start of my turn, I get 10 victory points because I hold two objectives. Yep. I will draw two cards, the first one being no prisoners. Okay. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, and then extend battle lines, which also sounds fantastic. Great mm. card draw. Great, great card draw. Um, I see what you did there. Okay. Sorry, was that two objectives? Mike? That's two objectives for 10, and then extend battle lines and no prisoners. I will go up to 2CP. For I have the Swarm of Lords. And then movement phase. Crack on. So I will crack on. Move me, G. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way you were looking at it. Um, so I'm just having dramas with Button Bashing here anyway at the moment. Yeah, go for it. Our chat I think enjoying it? Our chat enjoying it. Um, they have felt pity towards you. Yeah. Due to uh, your, some of your dice rolls. Mm. There has been a lot of uh, upset about the lion and what people obviously pointed out as potential nerfs to Dark Angels, but hopefully once people have had some reps and whatnot, um, maybe things will balance out. Who knows? Yeah. It kind of sucks what happened to the lion as well because it's such a, such a good model and like centerpiece as well. Obviously the Primark, but... Um, 
Yeah, I wonder if you still even take the line or if you just drop him now. What do you think, George? Would you if would I you consider the taking the line? Not in this detachment. He doesn't benefit from the detachment. He wouldn't line, benefit. He? I, I think the line is still... He's still good. It depends on his points, though, right? I, mm. I, I think he, he still still hits hard with his strike profile, but it's it sucks. Like Some of the nerfs to him just felt a bit too hard. Right. Um, but yeah, definitely, because he doesn't have the Deathwing keyword or any of the relevant keywords, he doesn't work very well with a lot of the Dark Angel stuff, which sucks. Um, but I, I, if you like him, there's still ways to run him. Like, he's still going to do some damage, right? He's still going to hurt things for that flat four damage attack. He's still got a three plus invulnerable save. Low knock if he's within three of an, like a, a start his unit. Yeah, and fight first. And fights first. Uh, does mortals on sixes to save. So he still slaps, just not as good as he was. Mm. Um, yeah. Has Swarms vectored anything yet? The Swarm Lord no. can increase a uh, battle tactic for one CP. Don't believe he has yet, though. I completely forgot about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, retrospectively, could I contempt. that do armor contempt? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate that. that. Actually, could have done a. That could have been a bit of a game changer previously in places. This is what I don't happens, think you've though. used armor contempt more than once, really. The only time I've spent it was on the Lam Yeah, I think you've did right. it for free as well. So that would have cost free, a CP. Yeah. 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 That's all right. I mean, we can't all be perfect to learn an army rules. I played four games forgetting Orcs had sustained hits one on melee. So, mm. that's right. You know, we'll that's all get there. But thank yeah. you very much to uh, Philip Cohen uh, for reminding us about these that. Guys doing. I think I played a um, game of the Necrons in that doubles event, and I completely forgot about the stratagem for uh, devastating wounds, turning that to a free uh, <laughs> a free CP stratagem because of the. Uh, Overlord's like ability. It's like the whole point of the combo. <laughs> no, literally, just, just a little bit. I mean, this is, this yeah. is the trouble I've had recently. So, um, so some people will know that I've, at the start of last year, I essentially went from 12 armies. Uh, by the end of the year, I managed to get down to sort of four or five armies. Right. And you become a jack of all trades, master of none. But yeah. by the way that I flip and switch armies all the time, I forget rules so much. Um, I, th I forget, you know, all the little uh, combinations and some of the stuff. And I remember, you know, as I go through, I, when I went and played Votan at a GT, I went an entire GT forgetting that you, oh, uh, sorry, you judge something every time it kills one of your units, which is literally as you, like, exactly the same as your Necrons. It's yeah. one of their whole army it's, rules. I mean, I won big. four games and lost one, and I wow. forgot that rule for all five games. Yeah. So, you know... It does help to dedicate, and this was literally a conversation we just had prior to the stream of trying to concentrate efforts into one army and trying not to maybe let an army get you disheartened, Chris and Orcs, me, or you know, just focus on energy. And I do really want to try and commit to one army this year in this season for the um, for the ITC season, and just say, right, this is my army, good or bad, nerf or not, I'm going to stick with them and just try really master them. But yeah, I'm, it can be hard to stick to one. Yeah, army. I, I'm not. I, I've got commitment issues, what can we say? <laughs> well, I hope you recover and, you know, can <laughs> get past that hurdle, man. Whether, um, it's, whether it's streaming sites or armies, I just can't decide where I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, before we head back to the table chat, uh, I'd love to hear, what's the worst, like, thing you've ever forgotten, like, during a game? Because <laughs> I think that'd be pretty interesting to read through the next movement phase. Uh, and we have a super chat as well. Uh, I'll unmute the guys. But uh, Chris... Really enjoyed your last game, Orcs versus Necrons. Looking forward to seeing you play again, big boy, from oh. Face United. The first Super Chat. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you for calling me big boy and uh, obviously paying attention <laughs> to the things that matter in life. Load me up. Um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I don't think Mike enjoyed the last game. However, it looks like he's enjoying this one a lot more. He's been consistently rolling the fives and sixes and being on the uh, the giving end. He's a giver, not a taker tonight. Mm. Oh, Mike. Loading me up. Well, anyway, well, quickly, uh, move on, quick, family show. I don't know what happens. <laughs> we were family friendly once. We still are. Mm. No swear mm. words tonight. We've done a so, very good job. Uh, yeah, we well done, it. Chris. Um, I've moved. I've stayed in combat with Swarm Lord, of course, because I can shoot and I want to fight you. These Zoes have basically stayed here to shoot at the Land Raider. You don't want it alive, I've do you? deep struck the Gargoyles preemptively for a future turn. They have to come down this turn. 
and I haven't drawn behind me lines, homers, or engage yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the same note, that's why I've put some zoanthropes in the other corner uh, yep. over there. They're also going to have a pot at, pop at the um, Inceptors. The Norn has stepped away from the middle because I deny the objective just with a Neurothrector. Yep. And then if I do make an 8-inch charge, I'll get onto the Terminators and deny that objective as well. Yep. The Neuro Tyrant has come out to use Psychic Energies to get rid of Belial. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see if that works out. All right. Where do you want to start? Let's kick off with the Swarm Lord into the Raider. Yep, sure thing. So this is his Torrent Synaptic Pulse. D6 plus 3 is 5. Oh, and uh, we've retrospectively vected Armour of Contempt. Yes. So thank you for reminding me of that ability. Um, I have not used Tyranids in a few games. Mm. Uh, so, 5 hits. We need 6s to wound, so that's 2 AP1. 3 ups. Saved cool. it. You are absolutely fine. The 3 Zoanthropes, same target with their Lance profiles. Is it minus 1 to hit? Um, it will be minus one to hit. So one lethal hit. Cool. Uh, so AP3. AP3, you do have cover. cover so uh, five up, four up. Cool. Lots Absolutely it. fine. The three zoanthropes in the far corner yep. will shoot at the uh, Inceptors. I will fire their blast profile because it's more shots. Okay. So 3d3 shots. Okay, uh, it is six shots. Mm. Hitting on threes. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's four hits, strength seven, threes again. Oh dear, should have done the stratagem for three roll ones. <laughs> uh, two wounds then at minus two. Okay, five ups. One, damage. Okay. Damage D3, two damage. Cool, puts one down to one wound. Alrighty. Then the Neuro Tyrant will fire at Belial. So I have my Psychic Scream. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> I think we've just found Mike's band name, Psychic Scream. <laughs> nice, I like it. Ah. Uh, and I've got the enhancement on this guy, Power of the High Mind, so I get strength and AP plus one. Okay, so what's your normal strength? strength AP. So that puts me at strength six, AP two, two damage. Cool. Uh, would you like to do any stratagems here? I've got one CP. I can't do anything. Okay. Cool. So 2d6 shots. That is 10 shots. Uh, well, they are torrent. Sorry, I could for one CP. Yeah, actually, because you're strength six, right? Yep. So I'm going to give give you minus one to wound. Okay. For one CP, I will tell you the name of said stratagem, which is um, unmatched fortitude. For one CP, because um, your strength is higher than my toughness, I'm going to subtract one from your wound roll. Okay. Sounds fair to me. This will be fours to wound then, with no re-rolls. That is four saves, it's AP2 and two damage. Okay, so four ups, uh, two go through. Okay, so two damage. Puts me down to four wins left. I got ya. Thank you, mate. There you go. Uh, right, the Norn. The Emissary. El Norno. El Norno. That might mean something not family friendly, so <laughs> let's not say that again. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't just know. for disclosure, uh, I have for, no idea. <laughs> I have no idea either. Um, so I will fire at the Terminators the 2d6 profile from the Norn Emissary. I will... Actually, I'm going to fire the Neuro Lance Melter profile at Belial. I'm going to spend a CP to reroll one to hit and wound. Okay. Twos. You are minus one to wound. Threes. Two wounds, AP3. Oh, he's dead, dead. Uh, that's 2d6 damage. That he's, is a dead Belial. He's, he's, uh, that's the sound effect it makes when he dies. Mm. Just poof. Careful with the way you handle him. Just Jeez, the them claw. grubby fingers. <laughs> <The claw. laughs> um. <laughs> Le Scepter will fire at the Terminator in the middle. He's a captain. He is indeed a captain. <laughs> on the objective, um, yeah. On the objective, he's not going to be a captain for very long. It's not looking good for me right now. Um, D6 plus three, eight. We can call him Captain Puddle. <laughs> I like that. A pile of goo. Fours to hit, because I'm in combat. Oh, you never know. <laughs> Strength ten, twos. <laughs> two saves, please. AP. AP two. Okay, so fours. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's oh. alive. Three damage. Oh, God, that's, that's terrifying. Cool. Um, 
I think that's all my shooting, you know. Combat. Combat. Time for some charges, actually. I'm going to charge the Norn eight inches into those Terminators. Told you. Cool oh. bit. Nice. Ten. R.I.P. There. Uh, is one of these wounded? There's a two over here. Sure. I, I, I guess we'll find <laughs> out. Um, I hit you with the damage tree first anyway, so it won't be that relevant. There's no other charges. So the Norn. Yep. Uh, six attacks, hitting on twos. Strength nine, so threes to wound. Four saves, please. AP two. So four ups. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that's, oh, uh... that's three damage each. Goodbye, my Terminators. Okay. Sag. Uh, and then it's over to you. Um, <laughs> Terminators here. So, one, two, three, four. Hitting you on twos. Yep. Reroll any ones. Felt very nice. And then wounding you on fours. Mm -hmm. No rerolls here though. Uh, four up in burn. Take two. Four. All go through. I've got three w remaining. Cool. Uh, and then the malice gets to go. Was either the Malaset or Swarm or something? I think uh, the Malaset is probably going to go for us. I really, I really tried. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will do the sweep as it's more attacks. Mm. So this is. Am I, I am definitely wounded, so I'm minus one to hit. Uh, so four hits, strength seven. Three saves at minus one on Mr. Azrael. Uh, he has two up, right? So three, yeah. three ups. Ooh, it's only damage two, though. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Right, that's just down to two wounds. Could you just do the usual shuffle of the dice tray down and a little bit anti-clockwise? Thank you. A little bit more down, because we keep creeping up anyway. We might as well go bold on the correction. Thank you. Mm. Perfect. Go bold. You need to get some Velcro on that bad boy. Oh, do yeah, the Velcro. lamb reader. Yeah. Sure. Didn't stop it. Get in, lads. It'll be fives to hit. Fives. Because you're wounded. So two, two hits. Damn. I already okay. tried. Uh, should I just do Azrael? Yeah, quick? just do Azrael. Um, uh, Reroll doesn't, doesn't get sustained, but does get rerolls. You're cool. just looking for two sixes here. Two sixes. How can you miss? It's right One there. wound. One. Come on, Azrael, what are you doing? It did wound me at least, so I've got one remaining. Great. Uh, Swarm Lord into the Land Raider. Uh, can you kill the Land Raider? Five, six, seven, Oh, I've eight. still got Blade Guard and Ezekiel. You do still have them in the Raider. Yay! Uh, I hit with this many, Great. and then fives to wound, the raider, twin linked. Okay, five saves at minus two on the raider. That's he's, nine damage. He's deaded. Does it blow? <laughs> oh, okay. He implodes. He implodes, and then the guys oh, might I need take to get more walls, yeah. but yeah. Nah, love it, mate. You're okay. I'm gonna stand. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> George is not allowed to handle new models ever again. <laughs> They're not new. <laughs> They're old, I promise. <laughs> Little people paint are just now crying in the corner, I no longer giggling. <laughs> uh, I will consolidate onto the objective with the Swarm Lord. Will you? Yeah, I think you still out will out so I... OC me at the end of my turn. OC you massively. So, yeah, okay. Um, that is my turn, though. So, Tom, a few secondaries there. So, no prisoners. I did get three unit kills at least. So, I'll get five victory points for no prisoners. You killed a lot more than three, mate. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I just didn't want to be. Well, let's just you be know, honest. Go. Get that guy. We've got a um, relationship, Mike. Extend battle lines. I do get for five as well because I hold my home and a no man's land. Yeah. And then over to Mr. Jordan. <laughs> Mr. Jordan. I like So, I like George, you go up two CP to two. Yeah, and I get 10 on primary. Yep. Um, I got overwhelming force and engaging all fronts. Uh, wow! I think we get rid of engage for a CP. Okay, you don't want a CP for anything else. I need secondaries. I think that's much more important than, and I think Mali is. He's dead. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll get rid of engage mm -hmm. for investigate signal. Oh, let's attempt to target. Well. <laughs> 
Uh, I'll pick the one that my OC15 giant monster is on. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool story, bro. Cool. Um, oath target. Sorry, what did you get rid of there, George? Attempting target. No, you got rid of engagement fronts. Got rid of engage. Drew tempting target. Mm. 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 Um, and I've got everyone in force. Yeah. So, get that, bro. All right. Shall we have a quick think about oaths, vows, um, and go do vowels. top down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good. Uh, as I said before, we're seeing a lot of units get stuck in place. That land raider finally um, blew up. Um, though I want to read uh, that I saw one comment replied to the thing I was talking about. Uh, about what people forgot. The worst thing you'd forgotten at an um, event or game before. Uh, Dante said... Fight on death with armages at Warhammer World, which you can do multiple times per battle as opposed to forcing an explosion. <laughs> That's brutal to forget. Man, Especially I'm sorry. when you're already at a tight model count that yeah. you know, they could have taken <laughs> some stuff out along the way. Some people thought Mike was funny. Um, I'm not sure if we're mm. funny looking or. Disagree. You know, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you, Seb. I'm going to not agree with him. But yeah, George Dice Roll continue to hurt my feelings. Oh, yeah. Um, they've not been great. And I'm. I completely forgot he had people inside his land raider still as well. So that land raider blowing up and then actually probably reminding him he still had some blade guard in the unit um, <laughs> might make a difference. Uh, yeah, that Norn maybe. has finally had to bug out and go over to his objective, so he is now fully boosted up, um, as it was pointed out. Yeah, I feel that, that um, thing now. I feel that although, you know, George's doing okay on point, I feel he's just he's being reactive rather than proactive at the moment towards some of... Um, Mike stuff. I'm trying not to, you know, slate him too loudly and make mm. him feel bad. But yeah, yeah. that that He's drawing, like that redrawing of attempting target really hurt. Just yeah. then. Um, so you know, I know you can't. Sort of hindsight's a wonderful thing. Um, however, maybe you should have stuck with the cards he drew, because um, then his next turn he could potentially draw an uh, attempting target and committed more resources. Um, after doing other stuff, but now it's you know it's kind of shoehorned him in that way, and that could actually cost him the game. I mean, surprisingly, um, even with these bad rolls, you're actually seeing Dark Angels like fight for it at this point, which is interesting. Um, I think now they're having a fight for it because he's having a fight for his dice roll. Well, uh, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah, true. Like he, he's making hard work of some of this, and you know it is a game of dice, and you can't always, but. I mean, even law of averages, I wouldn't have expected some of this. The same way I didn't expect Moserog last week to, you know, tank the entire Silent King shooting. But, what a beast. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes you can't plan for this, and it's just that moment, again, the LVO little clip that everyone's shown where uh, Matt rolls his double six and the hand goes on his opponent's <laughs> head, and it's just yeah. the, what the hell do I do now? Right? No one was expecting that. Uh, James Hobbs... Uh, said something as well. Could you scroll up? Oh, I'm just trying. It's not happy with me, though. Oh, I'm having all the dramas with buttons tonight. Uh, so we back to there. Um, I think it was something about bringing the wrong army to a tournament. Where is it? Scroll down. I think you've gone past. Yeah, I forgot to bring the right army to a GT once. I mean, to be fair, we were talking about this the other day. I once got um, halfway down the A303 uh, towards Andover before I realised I didn't actually have my army in the car. Um, I thought I'd packed it and I'd put it on the side. And normally, uh, again, recently, I kicked orcs all over my floor. I, I try to stick one thing to the car at a time. And I yeah. think, right, I've got my army. Right, I've got my little bag with all my bits and pieces and all my little um, event uh, sort of things to make me feel better and then uh, and then I'll take the last you know cup of tea and my last bit and for some reason I just got to take my army and it was only because I had this moment in my head of like ah oh, my army's not on my front seat I've not heard my army bounce around with any of the car vibration so I pulled into a lay-by had a quick look and I was like it's because I don't have my army <laughs> uh, so I had to quickly turn around and go get it that's just crazy. Like, the one thing that you need to really play the yeah, game. Yeah. Literally, there is nothing else I could have done <laughs> and other than go home or drop from the event. So, luckily, I was leaving with plenty of time because I planned to get some breakfast along the way. Uh, so, I, I got there by the nip, uh, you know, nick of time. Um, just trying to read through this, but I don't know what I've done to the chat, though. I can't actually use the scroll at the moment. Um, You've broken the mouse. I literally the have. Mouse. I'm just breaking everything <laughs> I touched tonight, heavy-handed. 
Um, well, there you go. Tattoo Tabletop did the exact same thing as me, essentially, but he did it at LVO, walked away without even having his army. <laughs> That's I, just I mean, there has been a time me and Jake have played and while we're testing armies, and again, this, this comes into the committing piece of when you don't know if you want to commit to buying something, especially when it's already an expensive hobby. Um, however, check out the art post, there are discounted models there. Nice little plug, um, but we, you know, we we <laughs> used we just used the bases. You know, yeah. we we actually just physically and literally Jake played an entire Grey Knights army, and I think he only physically had four models on the table. The rest of it was just bases, and you have got to use your imagination yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's such a great way of, especially with your friends in a in a group of trying new models before you commit. Um, yeah. You know, like like the Admech project that I mentioned. You know, outpost thirty pounds for a, uh, one of the Walkers, one of the Iron Striders. The ideal list that I want to run at the moment has got 13 of them. So 13. I physically shouldn't spend that much money on walkers. <laughs> um, but equally, even if I was to buy them straight off the bat, it's going to take me a little bit to build and paint them. So prior to making that big um, investment, like this weekend we're doing a games day, yeah. I will just have the bases and I'll be like, this is my walker and we'll try it out and see what happens. And then that way it, give, it gives me a sort of an insight of, do I need to commit to buying this or not yet? And I think that's a, I think that is a good top tip for people when they're starting out with a new army, and they're sort of trying to figure out how they want to play it, how they want to pilot that army. Yeah, bases or tokens of a similar size. Yeah, it's a good shout actually. And it looks yeah. like they're done over at the table, so let's see what's going on. Cool. So it's looking pretty grim. Uh, it's not that bad. We were looking at if I could have done engage, hundred percent wouldn't have been able to just because of the way. With these guys not being able to do anything movement-wise, mm -hmm. I'm locked out of this corner. Yeah, you would have had to advance the infiltrators. Yeah, exactly. And right now, I do just need to try and limit your assets. Yeah. And these guys should be able to pick off maybe four or five of these, mm -hmm. hopefully. Yeah. Um, so they're gonna, they've are gonna they lined up a shot here, as well as trying to keep out of some angles here with using the obscuring yeah. of this building. So I can't shoot them next turn with the, the zone troops. Yep. Yeah. Um, the biggest decision I had was with these Inceptors. Mm -hmm. they, they genuinely are kind of out of the game now because the Norns on that objective. For the rest of the game, I can't take this objective. No. It's impossible for me to take this objective at this point. Um, so they've actually decided to move down towards the zone throats and potentially tie them up. Um, yeah, because you could kill them and if you are in combat with them, you've got pistol and I don't. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we'll try that. Ezekiel has moved round just to get his mind Big mama shooter, sniper. Um, and then hopefully we can kill the Malaceptor and shoot in. So all of this can then charge into the Swarm Lord. Yes, but you don't have many shots going into it, actually, do you? No, I do have... No, I don't. No, I guess you've got... You could have two Blade Guard shoot it. Yeah. But you really want that anti-character dev wounds into the Swarm Lord, don't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 for sure. But he's going to have to go like that. Azrael probably has a pistol as well. Uh, it's time. worth it at this stage, because if he does kill the Maliceptor, he can charge the Swarm Lord. I think he's just got his gun, mate. Okay. Uh, let's double check before we move forward. So, Azrael... He's got a pistol on him, hasn't he? Uh, he's just got Lion's Wrath. Really? Yeah. Just He's definitely got a pistol on the model. So and we are giggle free for the next five minutes yeah. while she eats a donut. Definitely. Finally. Oof. Definitely yeah. doesn't have a pistol. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, can't shoot the Maliceptor. So it's just the two blade guard that might be able to do it. Yeah, but I do get plus one to wound here against him with you a do, pistol. You do, yeah. 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 Cool. Um, shooting then. Where should we start? Inceptors? Inceptors. Four shots. Would you like to overcharge? I'm three wounds each. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, missed one. Okay. Uh, strength eight, so it'd be threes. fours, threes. Yeah. Uh, that's three wins. Yes. Okay. Four up in one. Oh, dear. Hey. Oh, they're all dead. They're all dead. How did you do that? I, I pulled the trigger, mate. You just pulled the trigger, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you die? Do we get a double KO? No. Okay. Well, pass me my three. Take your brain. Wow. Okay. Yep. Uh, fair enough. Point, point made. Mm, nice. Are you sure they're damaged three? They definitely damage three when they overcharge your inceptors. You can check if you like. Yeah. And I'm definitely three wounds apiece with a four up in one. And have you rolled your hazardous yet? I he did. did. No, I passed it. I was passed. But I am the comments. mighty. That was uh, wow. They efficient are work. A big work. brave boy tonight, eh, George? Well, after what? that sad little face you just had talking through, it's it's all gone wrong. I've got nothing left. I've got nothing left. And then I've just <laughs> pulled out the big boy. Bam, 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 and you're dead. Yeah. Uh, cool. 
Now I'm going to do the same with my bolters. You can really yes. tell Jordan's from Aldershot. <laughs> I'm not from Aldershot. I live in Aldershot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hitting on threes against gargoyles. Wow. Wow. Um, Owen Wilson shots. Cool. Win you on threes? Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Not so much. Wow. Sixes. Oh I, I did say I would, I would kill five or six, and I, I killed two. You didn't job, whisper boys. enough to the dice. Yeah, I just don't have enough whispers. Two bot pistols into the... Let's go. Shabet. <laughs> <Do, do, do. laughs> <laughs> uh, big Mama Sniper. Yes. Hitting on twos. Mine bullets. Mm. It hits. Does he have anything on a six? Uh. Ah, a short intermission while Jordan checks. Mm -hmm. Is this a tease by Mike of he does have something? I don't or is this know. a... <laughs> well, sir... I have precision. No. Okay, nothing. fair enough. But I wound you on A4. <sighs> Talk to it. Be nice to it. Please. No. I love you. To it. Oh, you come didn't. Come on. You man. held it and you just spoke out loud. It's a four up to do D6 dev wounds. It's, it's not mad, like I it? can control the it's dice. Mad. I'm not a Jedi. Come right. on, Ezekiel. <laughs> do I see Peter? Get your acting. And up. even then. Oh, Ezekiel, mate. Look. <laughs> Get your act together. <laughs> Honestly, I know you're Mephiston in disguise. I can just tell. <laughs> um, he's just out of curiosity, if you were to have CP'd it, let's say you haven't, can you just roll it just to make me happy no, to watch you be I'm, sad? I'm going to roll the... <laughs> my, so, no, because that's your You're dice. welcome, everybody. Dice, no. yeah. There you go. Okay. So I, and I've got another nudge. <laughs> <laughs> I still rolled a two. <laughs> did, did you want to do this, guys? Bolter uh, into the may, Maliceptor? At uh, this point, he may as well. Wait, he's Bolter? Yeah, he's got... A, Storm yeah, James Hobbs has been so keeping can, a uh, bolt a tally. No, because it's a vehicle. It's other a vehicle. units, sorry, monster. <laughs> you can shoot other units into it. Yeah. But if you're in combat <laughs> with it, you can't shoot your guy. Right, I'll shoot the two shots into it. You're just at minus one. Two hits. Uh, yeah, so one will miss because it's minus one. One hits. Five. Fives. Oh, oh it's a six. It's a three up. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. <laughs> It was looking so positive for a, a brief moment. It a glimmer of die? hope. <laughs> cool. Ch charge? Yeah, sure. Uh, swarmy. Uh, uh. <laughs> Captain. Captain into the Neuralictor. Headbutt. Oh. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How far is this charge? <laughs> oh, you know what you could do? What? Charge the Maliceptor with the three guys and spend a CP to do mortal wounds on three ups to kill the Maliceptor. Then your other guys can charge Swarmsy. How can they? So you got a really oh my very God, situational strat. Fair play, bro. Fair play. Right, you've got to try it, right? Oh, of course. Right. Right. Right Should now. we... Uh, Let's, uh, once, once you do it, let's, let's obviously explain it to chat because yes. I actually also have no idea what you're talking about. So, right no, we, we've just come up. I say we. Sorry, so, sorry, I'm taking your spot. That's right. right. So, a slight step back. The Blade Guard and Ezekiel are going to charge the Maliceptor. Mm. Okay. And they'll charge, they can charge both units, right? Yes. Um, so, they're going to go through here. They're essentially here in this building. And that falls down because of the wrath. Uh, sure. So bam. Okay. So, they're in combat with the Maliceptor and. The Swarm Lord. And what's this stratagem called? Wrath of the Lion. So the Lion is good for something. Um, basically, I pick a Deathwing infantry unit that's just ended a charge move, and I roll a d6 for each model in my unit, add in one if you're in range of my bowed objective marker. On a four plus, you take a mortal wound. So I roll three dice here, Mike. Yes. If I can roll a single three. <laughs> You kill the Maliceptor with a oh, shoulder barge. You don't understand how much pressure is on me right now to roll a thing. I, I love I it. I don't believe it. We talked about it not being very good. Did we do it one at a time? And you never know. Yeah, go on then. He did it. Oh, he killed the Maliceptor with a shoulder barge. I did it one, Mike. Amazing. Good play, sir. Thank I concede. You. I, I thought of it. My, you concede? <laughs> no. I can win. Absolutely this. not. This will be um, my first win on stream. Do I explode? I do not. Explode in my heart. That would be funny. <laughs> oh, it was going then. <laughs> okay, well, the Maliceptor's dead. Yeah. Charge. So now Azrael and the Terminators can charge because it's still the charge phase. Azrael doesn't make it. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> that will make it. You're within seven. Oh, you gem. Cool. There you go. Just about uh, makes it. In Terminators. There. One of them's a bit it's drunk. Essentially here. Uh, yeah, that guy's drunk. So he yeah. minuses one to my charge. No, uh, he doesn't. I was joking. I was that, joking, Mike. I was joking. You'll get to over here. Cool. Sweet. Sweet. Does. Yeah. And the watcher goes all the way over there. Yes. <sighs> that was really cool. I never thought we'd ever oh. see that stratagem ever get used. Mike, I am under so much stress right now. Have, um, you, have, you, have you filmed the masterclass yet? Uh, not for this bit. Not that. But that's about to go in. But that I mean, it was, was the masterclass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very situational, but it did. I mean, it, it's massive. It shows it can pay off. If, yeah. you know, big you... brain plays, mm. make points. Mm. That's what I always say. What a great um, slogan. So... <laughs> <laughs> right, I am going to use Reinforced Hive Node for reducing your AP against the Swarm Lord. Oh, check you. All right, Azrael. Mm -hmm. Is that Azrael. you down to one CP? Mate? That's going to be down to zero <sighs> CP. I'm not doing very well tracking your CP. He's getting in your head, mate. I'm hitting you on twos. Hive yes. mind. With re-rolls. <laughs> Just pick it, pick it up. Go on, pick it up. You can, you can, so roll the three first because it was cocked. Okay, that's fine. I feel like George's forgotten how to play Warhammer tonight. I am, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's your strength? Um, strength six. Strength six. The Swarm Lord is toughness ten, so you are forced to wound. Six is a dev. Get oh, in, got Two through already. And then four up in Vern. I'm okay. Actually, you so suck. Two, <laughs> two damage. <laughs> swings and roundabouts. You can't please him. Uh, so eight remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Right, what's next? Um, we'll do... These boys. Ezekiel. They've earned it. Can we get the Swarm Lord on the rooftop? Is that possible? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so we can actually see what's going on. So that's one. essentially what's happening down, down there. Wow. Well, how is that holding his weight? I'm not shaming him. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just wow, saying. Sure. He's a bit Roll the dice. And that's exactly how you get cancelled. He's a bit You've of a big boy. Um, cool. Well, was... you can re-roll everything, so. <laughs> how have I just rolled? Sorry, I've just knocked that with my heavy hands. Can you turn the Swarm Lord to face the right? Can indeed. Thank so you. these are Look wounding you on fives. Uh, yes, normally sixes Back now on the rooftops. But no re-rolls, but you do get two. Two. How many wounds is he on? Eight. Ooh. Four ups. I fail one. We're down to six wounds remaining. Uh, Ezekiel. Sorry, that's Abaddon. Ezekiel, okay. <laughs> I mean, Ezekiel, we Abaddon. Now. The traitors, so. I didn't say it. Dark Angel community, please don't come after me. Um, five attacks. Yeah. Twos. Okay, re-rolls. Oh. Good man. Anti-chaos. I'm not chaos. <laughs> I'm really trying it. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, four up in one. Two D3. Oh dear. Oh baby. What was the AP, sorry? Yeah. Uh, AP two. AP two. Uh, so I, did, I rolled a one and a two, so they would have gone through because I've got armor yeah, contempt. Yeah. So uh, five damage. Yeah. I've got one left, and there's still a unit of terminators to go. This is not wow. good. Not good. Uh, I'll pile them in for you. How many are you going to get to? Uh, you'll get two in combat, yeah, because of the wall and things. Two. You throw rolling. rocks up at the swarm lord, and then it's going to be fours. Fours, yeah. Oh. oh, it's a good roll. It's a good Take roll. That. Now you're on your three up save because of armor of contempt. Oh, he's I dead. literally just killed you. Yeah, I know you were about to say something else. <laughs> do I blow up? I do not blow up. That, that very was, good. That was a lot of restraint. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, very nice. Okay. Why? Thank you, sir. Good play. Why couldn't that be my tempting target? Good play, sir. Um, six attack. Is it six or yeah? Six with the captain. Six right? with the captain. Yeah. Uh, so this is this captain versus this Neuralictor. Yeah, so hitting you on twos. Mm -hmm. Loving that, loving that, mate. Strength six, so three, it's toughness. Uh, toughness five on a Neuralictor. Ooh, so threes. Four on your invulls. Four plus invulnerable save. Takes two. Okay, I will take two. I have seven wounds, so that's five remaining. Sweet. Do you want to do your attacks back? I will indeed. I'm pretty sure it's six, but I'll just triple, triple check. Please triple check. Because we could eat a captain 
for breakfast here. It's way past breakfast. You should be having that at like seven in the morning. Can't tell me what to do. I'm my own bug. Independent bug. I'm an independent bug. Uh, so that's four hits, strength six, threes. That is four wounds. It's AP two. AP two? Um, you can't armor contempt because I've vected it. So I made it cost one more. Plus you've already rolled. Plus I've already rolled. Uh, I'm alive. Twice oh, alive with a wound. Two wounds. Uh, two wow. wounds. This guy is. <laughs> he's strong. He's just he is there. the real Belial. Yeah, fair. <laughs> um, I mean, good turn. Thanks, mate. What did you score? Um, everything. So I oh, get. Okay. Uh, How many units or objectives did you kill? That's what I was just trying two. to do. Two. Kill uh, two, so big five there. Nice. And tempting target. Uh, I'll just get rid of it. Just yep. get it. Cool. Back to grid. All right. Uh, into CP. my turn. One CP for me. You killed my swarm lord. Mm. Objectives there, Michael? Uh, I do hold two for 10 victory mm. points. This is turn four? Turn four. Bottom turn, turn four. four. Uh, right, I draw, deploy teleport homer, ha ha, and assassination, okay, ha ha, ha ha, I mean there's two great options for this, oh, I think I'm just going to roll into it, turn four now, so I will just fall back here, could you do me a battle shot test please? I absolutely love it. Okay, uh, I will, when do you give out your little... Command phase. Is it 18 or? 18, 18, yeah, 18 yeah. That, yeah. That, yeah, so he'll still have that. Uh, I will jump up to the top of the building because I can still hold the objective. Um, this guy is going to have to try and clean up these. The gargles will stay where they are for deploy teleport homer. Mm -hmm. And where are they exactly? They are right next to Jordan cool. in that corner there. These zoanthropes will take some pot shots at Azriel, I think. And we're going to stand as far in the corner as possible. Wow. Shame we go. Out. Um, that's the movement. Time to shoot. I'll shoot the Neuro Tyrant at the, your, your captain in the middle. 2d6 shots. That's five hits. This is strength six. So three saves at minus two. Okay, four ups. It's two damage. Thanks to my relic. So that is assassinate. You suck, Belial. It's not Belial. Oh, I thought we said he was. It's fake Belial. Oh. Everyone uh, wants to be Belial. Three. Do I fire three lances or do I fire three blast shots? It's a tough one. I'll spend one my one CP on real ones to hit and wound. Mm. Against Azriel. I will fire three lances. <laughs> We're going for it. That's three hits. Twos. I can re-roll the one. That's three invulnerable saves for Mr. Azrael. I'm rolling one at a time just in case I want a CP re-roll. Yeah, it makes sense. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let's re-roll it for a CP. Good chat, guys. <laughs> uh, the damage on that one is four. Okay. It is a dead Azrael. Azrael. Is slain. Sorry, I'll hold him by the base. Ghost. Good, good work. Good, good work. Keep those little donut fingers away. Uh, the Norn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about me. I was like, donut fingers? <laughs> sort of insults that. <laughs> Have you seen everything everywhere all at once? Is that the movie? It's a film. It's, the, it's a film. <laughs> Clearly not. Where there's like an alternative reality where they have like hot dogs for fingers. <laughs> Mike, you watch it's some a good movie. Film it's too. a really good movie, all right? Uh, it is a really good movie. Let me know if you've seen it in chat, but it's a very good movie. Is this, watch, is this where it. Th th there's a question out there that, again, can't be repeated, but along the lines of would you prefer hot dogs for fingers or... <laughs> <laughs> and hot dogs for toes. Oh, hot dogs for toes or fingers. Oh... Probably toes, at least I could do something then with my hands. If you imagine the size so, of the shoes you would So this on. is a very, very much an aside, but the, the reason for that in that timeline is that there was a monkey that evolved to have sausage fingers, <laughs> and it was beating the hell out of a different monkey that had normal hands. Mike, look. And then that meant that, obviously, survival of the fittest, so humans evolved to have hot dogs for fingers. And anyway, where did you find this film, Michael? A blockbuster, apparently. <laughs> it literally is. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, anyway, so two, two Lance shots. <laughs> You've incriminated yourself now, Mike. Come on, back me up, chat. It is a really good movie. It was literally massive. All you can hear is crickets in the background. It literally <laughs> it carries on and everything. Um, so two shots with the Neuro Lance. Two hits. This is against the Inceptors. Uh, strength 12, one wound for you. Uh, minus three. Uh, one dead. Wow. Joke Confirmed time. it is a good movie. All Who said Lance that? Uh, Jordan Talento. Okay, yeah, fair and Peter Cosman said it is weird. <laughs> it, it is weird, to be fair, it is weird. Uh, right. That's good, so random. So, that's it. That's my turn. Good I turn. get five for Teleport Home, a five for Assassinate. And it is... Big point. Now, your turn five. I just have... I will get Deploy Teleport Homer and no prisoners. I probably should have burnt with the non. That was silly of me. Oh well. And you will only go up one CP this time, George? Uh, yeah. Because yes. you're. As will I. Sad times. And Mike, you're on to two? You didn't yeah, I'm spend on to one. I did spend oh, my one. Oh, you did spend yeah. it. Yeah. Sad, All sad happened so fast, I lost track. I can't advance and. Oh, wait, wait how far is the deployment? 12. What did you draw? Well, you need to draw some cards I've, first, George. Oh, sorry, I've deployed no prisoners and deployed teleport Homer. No prisoners, deploy Homer. And how many ejectors did you start with? 10 on. Uh, I have two. So 10 points. So 10 deploy points. and sorry. 12 on, right? No prisoners. 10 on. Yeah, Just that's right. So. so you're within 17, but you move five, so you can't get behind, you can't get into the deployment zone. Anyone got assault here? Is mind bullet assault? Because then we'll be able to. We're looking at whether we can get Teleport Homer for five points um, in my deployment zone or not. No. Okay. Uh, and then I guess the other thing to check is how far this guy is away from the center. He's within 24 of the middle. So I need an advance. Uh, so on a six, I know he only moves 10. So it wouldn't matter. Oh, sadly. Okay. Uh, yeah, sadly not. Just no prisoners then. That's pretty sucky. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you draw bad cards. That's how the game goes. Unless you believe in the heart of the cards. The <laughs> I did not believe. <laughs> oh. uh, cool. Uh, they don't have assault, no. No, it sucks. Cool, so I just need to kill stuff. Yeah. Who would have thought? Uh, Vow Objective Marker. Be this one. Okay. Can you get within 12? I could charge him, right? Yeah. Uh, how far away are you? Mm. Well, within 18. Yeah. So So move six. Ten inch and charge. Then a 10 inch charge. But that means I could shoot him, actually. If I can get within 10, I could shoot him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah you could mind bullet him. Mm. Yeah. Because that's been so good <laughs> thus far. Don't you tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got nothing better to do, right? You may as well, yeah, yeah. there's not like another yeah, cool. option you, here. You, Mike, don't worry, you've convinced me, mate. You've convinced me, bro. Oh. Are there any stratagems that we're missing that could be no. amazing? At a I could time deep like strike this? within three yep. if I had something in deep strike, yep. which it would be destroyed by now. Joke's on you, we have special teleportariums, so don't let us get destroyed. Okay. Uh, wrath, armor, fight and death. Yeah. No. Okay. Fair enough then. Uh, cool. They're doing that. Get a kill here with the Terminators. Yeah, because I'm not going to get any more points do you, for. Do you want to just oath these? May as well oath them. Because at least you get two from no prisoners. And right? I may as well just move away from the objective. Yeah, because you don't get any more points for them. No. So I may as well just try a charge if I don't kill. And then the vow objective is here. Yep. Uh, cool. Ah, okay. oh, this guy. How you doing, bro? Um, move 14, right? Yeah, 14. So I'm just trying to see where. Yeah, you'll, you'll be able to see him from, from there if you move 14. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realise that was 14. Well, uh, his base is gone. May struggle to... Ah, that was genius. Now I know where his base is. So I'm just testing... <laughs> <laughs> Could he not... <laughs> Could he not go in here? I don't think you can see him, honestly. Oh, it's just this little guy, isn't it? Yeah, it's just the little guy. Do you have a name? The Neuro... Could I run and drop kick him in the face? I mean, you absolutely could, yeah. 
They look pretty drop kicking. I don't think there's anything that guy can do to contribute to the game. Cool. He's already been a baller and killed. <laughs> George, you've knocked Michael's camera. It's so annoying. Oh, don't worry, I'll fix it. <laughs> I don't see you fixing it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> cool. Thank you. That's right. I'm a... Sorry. Was that a magnum, was it? Well, um, I was asked to strike a pose and I, I did. That was not magnum. Nobody's ready for that yet. Oh, it was blue steel. It's a shame I only caught it at the last glimpse. That's my... That was the Tigra. Concert. The Tigra? Yeah, you just missed it. I did a little trigger. Again? No, 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 no. So once in a lifetime wanna, opportunity. I wouldn't want to overpower the audience. Damn, I need to rewatch the stream. Right, um, he's going to be out to baller and just go, bam. Who's this? Um, <laughs> what? Incept. <laughs> You're trying. No. Just do the stuff that matters. Come on, please. <laughs> right. Please, God, Mind bullet into that guy. Yeah. It's five to ten, George. Come on. Oh, is it? I oh, I didn't realise so it was like that. Death wounds. Does he hit on a three? I'm sorry to be a... Because it matters. Pain. Because really I'm pretty pain sure he hits on two. I'm pretty sure he hits on a two. I think Especially he's on these dev wounds. But I've got stealth. So we, it's just worth checking before someone picks it up. I hit on twos. Brilliant. So you, you do hit me. Thank you. And, and you do roll dev. How many wounds you got? I've got five. five. Can you mind oh. bullet this Neuralictor out of existence? Hiya. No. Would you like to see Pierre? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He even changed dice. <laughs> the sadness. Let me try again. Let me try again. Let me try again. This is this is like <laughs> this is like Angron re rolls all over again. Uh, yeah. um, so the other bad. thing that's probably worth doing is moving them six towards these guys. Sure, Mike. Sorry, just because you want to get no prisoners, right? Every point matters. I'm gonna no prisoner myself at this point. E yeah. Can I hazardous like my it. all my units? Uh, no. Okay, cool. Um, these guys shooting into here. Mm hmm. In fact, is it just... Oh, shoot. Just shoot. Is his mind bullet hazardous? Do you want to do two more for the last <laughs> million times you did it? He's okay. He's Ezekiel. That don't mean nothing as, as evidenced by his game. Right, ten shots here. Cool. Mm -hmm. Threes. Drop. 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 <laughs> Threes. Drop. Uh, four. Dead. How cute. Right. Cyclone missile launcher into your things. Go on then. Missed. Uh, uh, oath. The two will hit and you've got Oath. So I've hit, hit, hit twice. Threes. Oh my god. Cool. Mm. You've got Storm Bolters as well. Are you really making me shoot Storm Bolters at this stage? Yeah, you're all in rapid fire range. <laughs> cool. Oh my There's god. disrespect happening in the chat right now. Right. Toughness, five. Five, yeah, fives. I do like 40k mysteries, but sometimes, you know, things like the one dead little watches. and a wound. I'm just curious to know what they actually are. Charges? Yeah, same. No one seems to really know. Um, can Ezekiel make it into this guy? We said 10. We said 10 earlier, so. <laughs> okay. Gangster. <laughs> Ezekiel is great. Ezekiel. Ezekiel is honestly he so is, good. You are channel, uh, channeling your inner... Mephiston. Yeah, with Thank the you. charges at least. You fancy the, you fancy the fight phase. I just... like getting into it, but I just yeah, I just don't know how to press the trigger. Uh, they're charging into the zone ropes. That's a nine. Hallelujah. <laughs> it looks like um, the neuro throat's asking Ezekiel for directions. <laughs> Um, it's <laughs> just down the road. <laughs> just, Take a left. Just have it, you like. seen my neuro tyrant? These guys. It, it's either that or it's just replicating Steve mine. constantly trying to flex. Oh, you made this one, did you? you made it. Oh, nice. everywhere. Uh, Ezekiel, yep. five attacks. Yep. Dropped. You're not anti chaos. I am not chaos. Cool. Uh, it took six, right? This guy? Yeah. Uh, did you, are you doing reroll ones to hit? Uh, I assume, yeah. Oh dear. He's okay. Dead. He's um Oh no, D three. He is He's dead. dead. Very good. Good call. Cool. Terminators. Yeah. Well, follow They're your directions. directions. They're all gonna fight. Directions <laughs> to hell. Uh, Terminators. There you go. Cool. And then it's gonna be threes. Only I could roll that many ones and twos. 
All those four ups, please, mate. Uh, you one. kill the unit. Kill the unit. Yep, yeah, very good. Sweet. Fair That's play. my turn. Wow. Fair play. So five oh. on no prisoners. Oh, it's DC. Cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, cool. Do you want to do the hazardous for you, guy? Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Man. Thankfully, I don't have any kill cards left in the deck. Hey. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been a, yeah, a great play. Um, <laughs> right. So, oh, you that's... got five for no prisoners. <laughs> yes, mate. Uh, I assume, obviously, discarding Homer so you get a CP. Sure. My turn. Um, What's your secondaries? I get secure no man's land. And I get storm hostile objective. So, and how many objectives do you control, Michael? Uh, well, I'll do it at the end of the turn. Oh, of course, because we are in top five. You're probably going to need... I will spend the CP... Well, I didn't spend the CP last turn. I'll spend the CP I get this turn to auto-pass Battleshock on the Gargoyles. Cool. They probably need a four to, uh, on the advance here. Yes, I will advance them. There you four. go. They're on the objective. Cool. You've got that. Because they could, they could shoot and move anyway, right? Yeah. Um, so I won't bother shooting. No, there's no need. So we get that for now. And Storm Hostile, you need the Neuro Tyrant to kill Zeke on. Uh, yes, I'm already on two objectives. So the Neuro Tyrant, wait, it's, it's a psychic showdown. I will move my six inches. Monty. And um, it's the last battle round, so I may as well have the, the imperative that gives me plus one to hit in melee. Do I Have you shadowed the warp yet? Overwatch? I've not shadowed the warp. I actually forgot to shadow Do the warp. Do you want to shadow? Um, yeah, go on then. I'm good. Okay, cool. Uh, no, no, you're I'm not. Because I'm minus one to you. So these are battle shocked, yeah. which means that if I get to the objective and live, I take it. The storm. Ooh. So that's actually pretty big. Thanks for the reminder, Sub. You're welcome. Uh, shooting phase. Oh, yeah, I was looking uh, at Yeah, I will, I will shoot them. I know you've got protection against um, psychic attacks, but I'll, I'll go for it anyway. I have a hood. You do have a hood. Right, Neuro Tyrant, 2d6 shots, five hits, threes to wound, and these are AP 2 2 damage. Okay, so fours. Okay, one blade guard uh, is no, down. Four at Philip. Oh, yeah, of course. Yay. A blade guard is not down. Uh, and then. Um, and then is there any 18 inch range? I will fire. The four gargoyles just to try and keep the Neurotyrant alive for points. Uh, I do not hit you. Uh, and then the Neurotyrant will charge you. Okay. I'll spend my last command point to re-roll that. Okay. I'm channeling the, the spirit of Sanguinius to make you fail. Ooh, that's an 11. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I didn't have enough time to say it. You rushed me. Right. What's Here I am. you guys on? I'm on zero. Mike's on zero. I'm on okay. zero. You're on zero. It's... I have terrible attacks, but I might Wait, kill one I of on you. Zero? I don't well, know. They were on two at the start of the I've round. I've got two, mate. you got two then. You have your two CP. I'm no AP, so don't bother with the uh, armor of contempt. Fight on death. You could fight on death, actually. <laughs> actually that is CP. worth it. And what strength are you? Um, oh, I'm strength matter. five. Oh, it's not shooting phase, yeah. Uh, so I do hit on twos because I've got the, the warp imperative. Um, ba -ba -ba. Plus one to hit against a battle shock. Plus one to hit. And then plus on the wound against battle shock, so it's actually twos to wound here because I'm strength five and you're battle shocked. Obviously, re-rolling ones on the involves here. But... Yeah, of course. Damn. So you're taking a three up save instead of a a four up save instead of a three up save because you can't re-roll the ones on the armor save. So oh, don't. Yeah. So yeah. just re-roll the ones to hit. Right. Look, he's dead. Okay, uh, sure. Jump to yeah. That's fine. Just, he's dead. He's dead. Either way, he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead, and I'll put that guy on the wound. And it doesn't matter how many wounds that guy's got. So. Cool. So my yep. attack's back. Mm -hmm. Blade guard. Just to clarify what happened there, um, Jordan declared the reroll ones to save, but that's only on your yep. vulnerable saves, which means you take them over your three up armor saves, which yep. you got in this case. Um, didn't make a difference, though. I can't use stratagems. They're battle shops. You cannot. Uh, toughness? Uh, toughness, eight. So okay, fives. So, uh, fives, yeah, two uh, Fours, because you're on the vow objective. Yeah. So three wounds. Three wounds. We've got a four up in Vern. Oh my Six god. Damage. I've got three left. Ezekiel. 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 <laughs> oh, get in, my lad. All right. Anti-psych. No. Um, 
Strength six. So fives to wound. Fours to wound. Fours to wound, yeah. That vow objective three. is annoying, isn't it? Uh, okay, so I've got three wounds remaining. And there's I no CP. I spent all my CP. <laughs> the first one. Takes it. That goes through. What damage do you do? One. The second one. I'm okay. The third one. Come on, Neuro Tyrant. No! He's okay. He's okay. <laughs> so I have two remaining. I had a chance remaining. to kill him. Um, and that will mean at the end of the turn, I get Storm Hostile Objective. Yeah. And secure no man's land. So that's five, ten points for the secondaries, and then ten on the primary as well. That was close. That was really cool, actually. That was, was yeah. it? Yeah, I kind of wish you'd killed Watch. him because. Yeah, still one damage. Yeah, still one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, that's it. That's the end that's of the game. That's it. That concludes the game. Well, regardless of the result, I actually had loads of fun. Uh, that was really cool. Great game, dude. Great game. You played Tony fantastic. Cool. Yeah, well, you've all but wiped me as well. Um, I think I made verging... a lot of mistakes. Uh, yeah, I, I made a couple as well. Um, but I think we're verging on kind of something close to the best way to play in a circle. Um, yeah. Lots of small units are terminated. I think if I got more reps in with this army, I'd understand how it plays, yeah. the best way to use specific units. Yeah. Um, when you've only played an army once or twice, actually learning the nuances of where you want things mm -hmm. and figuring out that battle plan can be quite tough. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. But overall, I actually like the inner circle. I think that plus one to wound, as we proved, is, it, is massive. It actually makes your units do something yeah. against toughness, high yeah. toughness, right? Yeah, exactly. So I really like the, the inner circle. Detachment. Yeah, it's cool. I think there's, there's things you can do with it. Um, so we'll talk about Vanguard veterans a lot on the Masterclass because they're yeah. probably a really standout unit. Yeah, I think being... there's units that would be better than what we have. We, just, yeah. we haven't got the units yeah. to, to boot right now. But yeah. um, eventually, when we do run this again, hopefully mm. we'll have a better... Impressed with Ezekiel? I'm not. Uh, so I was, <laughs> okay. And actually that mind bullet thing has the potential to be so ridiculous. Oh, potential this, potential that. Did it do anything? <laughs> Mind bullet himself. I, I'm going to blame the pilot and not the plane on yeah, this Yeah, to be honest, mate. Yeah. I, I think it's all my fault. My <laughs> dice rolls have been... They gonna, have been atrocious. Yeah, not gonna, that's not why I've lost. No. I mean, I, I don't How know How do you score, know you've but, lost? Uh, well, I, do, I don't know. Would don't you like score. to know the score? Could, I yeah. think it's really close. I don't. It was really close. See, up until... Keyword. Um, really, some bad secondary card drawing, I would say. So the final score on the doors is Dark Angels, 75. Really? Yep. Mm. <laughs> Tyranids, 90. Oh, fan mate. Yeah. yeah, smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah definitely. In, in face of all of the negativity and, and sort of hate that the Codex has, and look, a lot of it is justified, but there's still clearly, you can still play Dark Angels and score Look, points. I think no matter what it is, you've always, there's always going to be a play with your army. No, yeah. no matter how good or bad it is, it just takes time to learn it and understand it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it does suck. I mean, the, the codex does suck in, in the fact that you've lost a lot of things yeah. and it is nerfed. Yeah. But if you want to play Dark Angels, there still is ways to make it work. Absolutely. And it might mean that you have to lean a bit more on those more powerful units from the main Space Marine Codex. Um, but you can still play your beloved Dark Angels. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Awesome. Well, All right. thank you for the game, dude. Thank you very much. Can we thank just confirm one thing before you do say goodnight, sorry? It was, uh, it was mentioned a moment ago in chat as well. George, hmm. you have never won a game on stream. <laughs> never. Is this, is this facts? Is yeah. this factual? Okay, I've, so I've genuinely never won a game sure, on stream. We'll set you some smart goals for this year, and one of them will be to win one do you game know what? on stream. I did win one game. But we found out that um, the person who counted my score, aka my brother, Kobe, um, actually got it wrong. Because I actually effectively beat Steve. And then we found out that actually Kobe miscounted my score. Did, we didn't put painted on for Steve. Didn't put painted on for Steve and Steve actually beat me. Brilliant. So the one win I did have no was avoid. all false sense of security. Um, I tried. <laughs> yeah, you tried. Yeah. You tried. Um, Maybe one day, Jordan. Maybe I think. Day. I think. Look, it, it's different playing on stream than it is playing in real life. Hundred um, percent. Um, and you know, look, we've made him play the Dark Angels book, which we know is not inherently as strong as some things like Tyranids. So I don't think we can I, really. I, I genuinely think it's more so the fact that I'm not used to the army. Yeah. I don't think it's anything like even if you had played Eldari. I still genuinely think that it's just 
the fact I don't know my army. Yeah, fair enough. Um, fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, mate, you played fantastic, and I'm happy that I got 75 points. Yeah, uh, that's that's still a good score. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So hopefully we've shown you a bit of light in the darkness that is the Dark the 40, Angels, the 41st millennium. The 40, yeah, the darkness of the 41st millennium where there is only war. Mm -hmm. um, thank you guys on deck. You did an excellent um, job tonight. Um, and thank you to our wonderful Giggly Ghost camera woman. Um, and thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, check out our other videos, maybe the Codex Review if you haven't seen it already, um, and even some of the old world stuff if you're interested. Yep. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>